It doesn't work very well. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Happy New Year's, everybody, or New Year's Eve. Uh, cheers to everybody that's tuning in. Four Two Ventures, Gary, Andrew, Eric, Gentleman Drunkard, what's up? Uh, so hanging out. We've got some mail that we'll go through and all of that stuff. And and uh, yeah, but why don't I make sure this is turned down? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. And we got some of these two. Oh. Oh. We got a couple more over here, but you want what? <laughs> Wife's chilling. Happy confetti. Oh, you can smell that gunpowder down there. But cheers, y'all. Um, let's see. Let me grab ourselves a brewski. And I got, I, I picked up like a random six pack. Uh, our high V, you can put your own six pack together or whatever. And uh, I think it was in the last live stream maybe one of the last lives somebody was telling me i had to try a pickle beer so i guess we'll give a pickle beer shot on this first one here but let me get this stuff down actually before we get into that all the mail y'all we got the fire going in the background i took a while and cut some wood today so that we could make sure we could try to keep that fire going as long as possible y'all and uh yeah i don't know if i'm gonna wear this thing the whole night but cheers happy new year we got some junk up behind me happy new year oh i gotta spin these guys they won't stay spinning they're just little paper things but uh Trying to find a disco ball. Did not work very well, so cheers, y'all. Nick's Weather and Oddities. Happy New Year. Cheers to you and the wife. 2024 is going to be even better year for the channel. Cheers, Nick. Uh, yeah, 2024 is going to be rad. Cheers to the missus over there. And uh, yeah, we're going to rock it, dude. I'm excited for 2024. I mean, we obviously didn't achieve all our goals in 2023 with the the OG truck breaking down, but uh, 2024 is going to be pretty rocking. So I'm excited. I can't really say I smell pickle, to be honest, but the classic American lager with a touch of pickle juice will make any time of day pickle time. Crisp, zesty, and refreshing. It's from Zipline. Zipline Brewery, y'all. Malcolm Neal. Yeah, I hung it up right there. I moved a couple of plates around, so we moved some over there. And then there's still the crazy Quady one behind that thing, but the little sign dangles in the way, which I'm kind of blocking it anyway, but limited room. I had to angle the camera appropriately so you didn't see the piece of tape holding that thing to the ceiling. <laughs> you can definitely taste the pickle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to drink that whole thing. That's... I don't know about all that. We'll, we'll sip it, but that's different, y'all. That is a different drink. Uh... Cheers, y'all. 2024 in Australia already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's already New Year's Day in Australia. Uh, so it would, it's like what, four hours to midnight here. It's 8 p.m. here. I don't have any snacks down here, no. I feel like this is a beer that you need, like a, a salty, like this is something you eat with chips or, you know, drink with chips. I don't know. Travis, what's up? Travis is in the house. Cheers, Travis. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that. This might be a this might be a, a thumbs down for me. And a lot of you guys ask, 
you know, do you ever find beers or anything that you don't like? Well, here's one that I'm. Where did you say that one was made? It's Zipline. So this is from a local brewery. I can't really smell pickle, but. I'm going to give this one a thumbs down. I've had a bunch of stuff from uh, Zipline and they've got some really good stuff. Their copper all is great, but that ate my jam. So we're going to set this one off to the side and try something else. But I tried it, y'all. I knew you guys mentioned it, so figured we'd give it a shot. All right. Now what do we got? These are all really funky. Uh, so we got a rainbow sherbet. We'll give this a shot. Hopefully it's better than pickle beer. 905 in Ohio. Oh, I just heard fireworks. Somebody's lighting fireworks off outside. I do have some, but it'll be a little bit difficult to do that. Prairie artisan ale, rainbow sherbet, sour ale with rainbow sherbet flavors. So we're going to give that a shot. Uh, Put a little hot sauce in that. Hot sauce in the pickle beer? Maybe. I don't know. Pair it with a shot of mustard. Yeah, dude. That's just not my jam. Not my jam. And I see they've been coming out with a lot of different pickle stuff. Like, uh, I know they have pickle moonshine. Like, some of them, like, have full-on pickles in there. Not my jam. I, I like pickles on a sandwich or, like, chopped up in tuna. But that's really about it. 402 Ventures. Happy New Year's. To it from the locals and beyond. Cheers. That's tasty. That's a sour. I definitely get some like sweet ice cream flavors out of that. Not too bad. Craig Riggs, 206 AM in the UK. Happy New Year, man. Crossed over already. This one's good. Artie Bryant, how's the Harley doing? Like, they're just chilling in the garage. I don't ride them enough. I was hanging out with the homie Greg the other night, and uh, we got talking about that. And it's like, every year we say we're going to ride more. And then it's the things that we say we're going to do a bunch more is that we do even less. So I was like, well, don't fuck, don't talk about riding bikes again. Let's just do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to get, got to get that stuff done. Uh, we'd like to ride more. Every year I say I'll, I'll actually try Sturgis, and I still have never gone to Sturgis for the bike rally. I mean, we've ridden there. Uh, the wife and I have ridden up there, and we rode all around there, but it wasn't for the rally. Travis Orton, take Greg to full tilt. I don't know if he'd do that. I, I asked him if he'd go to Hell on Wheels again, and he said probably not. Born Free Texas would be cool. I hope you have an M80 for the new year. Uh, those are illegal, but I do have fireworks. Like, I do have some stuff over there. I probably, I have firecrackers upstairs, and, like, there's just some random firecrackers in a drawer upstairs. Maybe they're all down here now. I don't know. Uh, Arrow Brewer, Helmet Law lifted in Nebraska. Yeah, so they changed something. I'll still probably wear mine. I've wrecked a couple of bikes. I know how much that hurts. I broke my foot and like, like I got I got the ending of one on video, but we need uh, to keep his brain working. Yeah. <laughs> my brain's like the only thing that's worth anything, really. <laughs> uh but yeah. They lifted some there it I think it's still you have to be born after a certain date. Uh even if you're old enough to ride, I think. Something along those lines. I don't know exactly what the regulations are, but yeah, they finally changed the helmet law, which I know people have been wanting to happen, but. What's up, Shane? <laughs> Dustin, 1975. Yeah, if I only had a brain. Ernie, we got a little bit of snow on Christmas Day, so I wasn't out camping. Um that it's basically all melted now. It was like, we got like an inch or something of snow. And it snowed a little bit the next day, the day after Christmas. But I wasn't out there camping. 
Easy Dream One Two Three. We just had dinner. I had rigatoni and breadsticks. It was like a Stouffer's thing. Isabel Pierce, cheers! Thanks for the donation. Yeah, not a lot of snow this year, but everywhere is having like record highs. I, I we're still gonna get some, um, but just. It's just been a weird winter, but it's been a weird winter for everyone across the United States. No snow in the Rockies. No snow in the Rockies? Really? That's what Mitch Bordeaux. Oh, yeah. Bordeaux. Mitch, I live in the Rockies and we have no snow. I it mean, makes me sad. yeah. <laughs> My wife always likes to go that direction around her birthday because there's usually snow up there, but we'll see. Joshua Kurth, 65 in South Texas. That sounds good. Rita from Missouri. Cheers. Dustin, wheels and tires are in the mail. Conehead, yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched that movie in a while, Coneheads. Have you seen that? Maybe a long time ago. Yeah, it's an old one. Cheers, Donnie. All right, why don't we pop some mail open down here? We do have a couple of letters. So we'll do one of these. It's from Stowe in Brownfield, Texas. I have a knife? I do. Yeah, Happy New Year's, y'all. I hope everybody's excited for 2024 and all that stuff. I'm excited. I'm not usually one for, like, New Year, New Me, or, like, making New Year's resolutions or anything. But, you know, it's always just, it's a new season, you know, kind of thing. So, it's cool. I'm excited. Jesse Tote. Homie, so excited to see the truck progress. I actually had bought you that tailgate soft close strap, but then you said you bought it, but I tried. I appreciate it, man. Happy New Year, brother Raccoon Canoe for life. Cheers, Jesse. Yeah, that one was high on my list to get done. Uh, it's one of those things that you don't realize how nice it is until you don't have it again. And I didn't have one on the Silverado for years. And then we got one. And uh, now I kind of can't do without it. But uh, there's a lot of um a lot of trucks come with that stuff now or they have electric tailgates and whatever i mean it's cool but it's another thing to go wrong but yeah struts struts are key cheers justin thanks for the donation all right got a letter here it's a christmas card merry christmas quady thank you for sharing all your great adventures may you one day find the hot sauce that you love lol <laughs> merry christmas and happy new year mate uh, so this is signed by a few. Merry Christmas, Quady and wife. Quady, thanks for always being there for us. Every time the world gets us down, there you are to pick us up. Bless you. Uh, yeah. Merry Christmas. So from the Stowe family, I believe. Lon Bowers. Cheers, Lon. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, Stowe family, for the Christmas card. I knew some of these were going to be Christmas cards, but uh, wait till the end of the end of the month to open it all up. Seven thirteen in Montana. Yeah, you're an hour back from us. Eight thirteen here. Man cave time. Yeah, it's only half. My wife has a much bigger desk. Uh, All right, this is from James out of Hammett, California. Dave's Insanity Hot Sauce. I still have, there's probably, whew, I don't know, there's probably like six or so hot sauces over there. And I've got a that one that's called Flatline somebody sent in. So that's going to be a rough one. Uh, I kind of feel like that that's one that I want somebody else to try with me because i heard it's pretty rough like you put a 
you put the tip of a toothpick in like a gallon of chili, I guess you're still going to taste it. Scott Hutchinson. Cheers, Scott. Thank you for the donation. Happy New Year. Try not to like completely tear these envelopes up and and not show the address and all that nonsense, you know? One drop, yeah. I've heard it's not to be not to be messed with. I don't want to have to deal with that, you know. I think if you try it in the store, they actually make you sign a waiver. Yeah, we've got a little donation. All the best to you, Mike. Jim. Thank you, Jim. And uh, $25 donation. Appreciate it, Jim. Throw that back in the envelope. Jim James? Yeah, yeah. It's one of those guys. Appreciate it. Henry Horton State Park Chapel in Hill, Tennessee. I write down a lot of the stuff and uh, I mark it. I do mark it down on maps. Horton, Henry Horton State Park. Where was that at? Chapel Hill, Tennessee. <clears throat> Cheers, everybody. Santa, Santa, we're we're too old for Santa. We need, we buy ourselves whatever we want, what we can. Uh, but I Santa myself some wheels, I guess you could say. <laughs> Crazy Darren. Cheers, crazy. No more pickle beer, man. That's not my jam. Not my jam. But it's obviously popular enough that multiple companies are making it. So doesn't hit my taste buds appropriately. Travis Horton, you owe her a camper. I'd love to have a camper. Uh, it's not something that I would use all the time, but... The big thing is storage. Like, I wouldn't want one to sit outside all the time. That would just bum me out. Like, yeah, we don't even have any room in the driveway. So, like, I don't know. I know they're designed to stay outside, but uh, I would just, uh, if you're not using it, I would prefer to have it inside. But, Carrie asks, you making your own curtains? I got curtain rods and stuff, and the missus got the sewing machine out. She's going to sew them up for me. So, We'll get the rods and stuff mounted up, but yeah. I don't know when that video will come out, but we've got to sew some up. Trying to decide if we're going to just use sheets, just buy sheets, or uh, or actually order like blackout curtains. Because I didn't use blackout curtains on the old one, uh, and they were perfectly dark enough. I But I think I double layered them. I'd have to look. Happy New Year, Larry. Gary, when am I going to finish off the van? I mean, I'll have some done to it before we take it out in the spring. Like, we'll work on that a little bit more in the spring. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm dumping money into the truck now, I guess. So, I'd like to put it on a nice set of wheels. Maybe lower it. Darren Stoopy Baker, cheers. A lot do I have to pay her for labor? Oh, yeah. yeah. Gary, side pipes would be cool on the van for sure. I'd have to take the the steps off. Uh, and I like the fact that the steps are on there for when I'm driving down gravel roads because I don't want to to get a bunch of rock chips inside of it, but side pipes would look really cool, but it's also just a V6. Uh, so if I'm going to do that, it would probably be after I, if I, when I do put a V8 in it, but I figure I'd, that thing's just going to blow up on me one day when I'm driving. So 
Bryant Dodd. Cheers. Thanks for the donation. Happy New Year. Yeah, uh, the van motor, I don't know. We'll change it out for sure. I definitely want more power out of that thing and a better transmission and all that. But Deborah Raccoon Curtains. Uh, see, I've gone back and forth about putting a design on there because I probably get sick of it pretty quickly. Uh, and then it's consistently having to make a new set of curtains. Like, you can't just go buy, buy these, you know. I could learn to use the sewing machine. I took home ec. I used one at one point. Benjamin, cheers. Thanks for the donation. I remember that would have been in like junior high. We did home ec and I made like a duffel bag. I sewed up a duffel bag. That was pretty rad. Uh, Brad Odette, will you get Starlink for the truck? You know, I've gone back and forth about that also. Uh, it's just, I think they upped the price too. I think it's now like $150 a month. And that's just, if I wasn't paying for uh, fiber at my house, maybe, but I'm paying for fiber here. So like, I don't know. I, I don't think so. It's just too much right now. I think... I feel like it should get cheaper is the thing, but I don't know if it's ever going to get cheaper. What's a B100 Ford? B100 Ford? I, I don't know. Jeremy. Oh, said that I should buy it for you. I sent him a link to uh, it's, it looks like your dad's 79 truck or like the one Jeremy bought, but it's like an SUV and they were only made in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's one for sale in Florida and it's minty. All right, where we got spaghetti? <laughs> Laura Beach, will I put AC in the truck? I'll try it. Uh, when I bought the camper shell from Brian, uh, and I think I showed in the video, he gave me the air conditioner that he had been using in there. So I have a window AC uh, that I could somehow mount to the tailgate. So, uh, you know, it's been done before. I can do it. And it's not something that I would constantly carry around with me, though, like, I don't know. It's kind of, to me, that's a lot of setting up junk, but I don't know. I, I want to try to mount it in a van window. I'll tell you that. Grandmaster Jedi. Cheers. Happy New Year. Thanks for the donation. Travis, stop harassing me about merch. Oh, man. We'll get it out. 2024, man. Year of the not being a bum suck and like year of not the suck get myself out of the suck the cat yeah we'll get some merch out Jim Jim Jaramello cheers Jim happy new year's My heart is in Montana. I'd love to get overseas. I would love to. You could make it everything better. Boo ho. <laughs> Andrew, crazy queen of banana hammocks. <laughs> All right, let's get into another one, y'all. Merry Christmas from New Jersey. What it says is New Year's story. I don't know. Uh oh, we lost one of the balls. <laughs> that was probably right behind my head. I taped one of those three of those balls. I taped it to the bottom of my my big buck that I got up there. We've got a book. Ah, this is cool. No note though. Just Merry Christmas from New Jersey. Is there a note inside? No. 
this one's a secret Santa gift, I guess, unless I... No, but that is a rad book. Check that out. And it's like... It's all beer cans and whatnot. Some bigger ones. Old school stuff. This is cool. That's like a really cool coffee table style book. Keenan. Cheers, Keenan. We might be able to get out there and ride. Yeah, that's rad. No note, though. A genuine collection of cans. Man, this is going to get me hooked on collecting beer cans. Well, Merry Christmas from New Jersey. Thank you, New Jersey. Appreciate it. That's cool. Put that right there. What did I do? Oh, it's open stuff. Yeah, that's a cool book. I'm excited to look at that. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Deiru, yeah, the near of not to suck. I mean, sometimes your goals don't have to be huge. <laughs> you just have to not suck. Uh, Ernie, Mexico road trip would be great. And we've kind of talked about it a little bit before, but I've got a bunch of uh, family that uh, is from Mexico. I've got family from Guatemala. Married into the family, I am not Mexican or Guatemalan. Uh and then I've got a bunch of friends that are from down there. Like one of the homies owns a bunch of property down there. It's just a matter of getting everything lined up. You know, uh, a lot of these folks that I know that go back down there, they're going back to visit their families. So it might be kind of weird to just like all over around, but obviously I can go do whatever down there, but, uh, and that would be cool. I need to learn to speak Spanish, man. I should have paid attention in high school class. I know, uh, I know dos. And jalapeno. I know how to say jalapeno. <laughs> Scott Hutchinson. Cheers, Scott. Uh, tortillas. No, Mexico is high on the list. And the thing is, it's like it's not even that far away, dude. I could basically drive there in a day. So. Malcolm Neal, build a camper that would fit in the utility trailer. That's I, honestly, I'd rather kind of just swap that for an enclosed and build a small enclosed. So it's kind of stealthy looking, but putting a little uh, like cabin style thing on the back of that trailer or on that trailer would be pretty cool to do. Uh, and it would be big enough that I feel like it's big enough. I could put my little wood stove in there because uh, you know, a couple of folks like Forrest, he has a wood stove in his van, but that's a little bit bigger. And he's got a longer van than my van. Uh, and then Lone Wolf has got one in his truck. But man, like that just seems too small to me. Uh, not my thing, but I think that would be cool because you could definitely put a, put my little wood stove in the back of that trailer. Yeah. All right. Amy thinks you need an air conditioner. Air conditioner, yeah. I would, I mean, they're, they're coming out with some pretty cool, like slim air conditioners, because uh, it just has to fit appropriately. Like if you built, if you're talking about on the back of the, the, uh, on the trailer, that would be easy to fit on there, but like, I said oh, on the van. So I would never put it on the roof. Like, well, one, cause it wouldn't fit in the garage. Some people will hang it out the back window and leave it on there permanently. I wouldn't do that. Uh, Scott Hutchinson, cheers. Thanks for the donation. I've watched a couple of his videos, but I don't watch regularly. Good stuff, though. Kevin, cheers, Kevin. From the Netherlands. You arrived in 2024 three and a half hours ago. Cheers, man. Happy New Year. Um, oh, yeah. So there is some portable AC units that you can get. When we've looked at one of those. I almost bought one when we went to Overland Exo, but that was like two years ago. Uh, I don't know, maybe something like that. As far as the van goes, I've seen people mount little window units like I have. 
they kind of build a little thing that sits on the driver's side door. So you have your driver's side window open. Uh, so if you're parked at camp, you just have it right there and it's in your window and it just seals around there. Uh, and I don't know, you can run a little brace. I mean, they're, they're thick doors, but everything is metal on both sides. Like, uh, so might do that, uh, to start off with, since I have it all. All right. We got to open this one up. Prairie Artisan Ales Slush. Sour Ale with Strawberry, Raspberry, Lemon, and Lime. Something different right there. Uh, and this is from McAllister, Oklahoma. Krebs Brewing Company. Broken Wing. Scooter, lots of camping plans. Someone asked what brand of cooler, and that pretty much they're all Ozark Trail, right? Yeah, all my coolers now are Ozark Trail. Uh, that blue one that I use pretty much in every single video, that was a gift somebody sent in, and that's an Ozark Trail, so Walmart. We got, I use this little one every once in a while. Stuff and things. Oh, it's heavy. This is Nose Art Trail. This one's quite a bit smaller than that large blue one that I have. And then I think on the the only time I've ever had it on the videos was when I did the California road trip. I had a bigger, even bigger one that's like this type of plastic. And that's also an Nose Art Trail. So these Walmart coolers are good. Like all these, like every company ha is making these like Yeti style cooler now. Uh, and they're all pretty efficient. Like, but those are trails. That big one with dry ice that to the trip to South Dakota that time and never had to put more ice in it. That was an old cooler. It wasn't that one. Oh, I thought it was this one. No, oh, okay. no. So yeah, those are trail coolers. I don't know why I opened that back up. Yeah, Walmart specials. Scalia plays. I mean, I'll collab with people. Uh, been messaging some folks. Twenty-five degrees here. Twenty-five here. Yeah. Yeah. Jack. Yeah, it's twenty-five degrees here. I think it's starting to pick up uh, the wind. Scott Hutchinson, can you shout out Scott and Kaylee from Newcastle? What's up, Scott and Kaylee? Travis Orton. Cheers, Travis. Jenny's up in the house. Cheers, Jenny. Happy New Year. Comment online, but you have to get off the couch. <laughs> oh, don't get off the couch. You're good. Uh, Brian Curbs, I've used a swamp cooler and it works all right, but like it also introduces more humidity. And here in the summers, it's really humid. So, Dick Jones, eat some shrimp. Eat so many shrimp. I got iodine poisoning. That's a uh, sipping on some scissor. The beer's good, man, Corey. Beer's tasty. Eric Mini, the truck needs LED headlights. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of putting LEDs into factory like uh, reflectors like that. Sometimes they look all right. But sometimes they're just terrible. Uh, and as far as like the, the LEDs and stuff that come on the higher level trims, like I don't want any of that stuff because those headlights are so ridiculously expensive. Like you break one, 1500 bucks, two grand, whatever per headlight. Uh, I don't need none of that in my life. Like I'm good. I can go to any, any park store and buy a light and replace it in my headlight. You know, if your LEDs and stuff start going out on those headlights, or like the halo trim and all that kind of stuff. Like 
good luck finding somebody that's actually going to repair that stuff. I'm good. I'm fine with the headlights that are on that thing. I might put some, uh, some little, I might do like dual four inch cubes where the factory fog lights go. Since I didn't get fog lights in there, there's companies that make kits. So they mount right there. There's a plate and whatever. I might do that. But as far as like changing out the headlights, I have zero plans to do that. Collagens are fine with me, dude. Yeah, Silver Star Collagens. I think I had those in the Silverado. I mean, to get you could get some that are a little bit like whiter, so they don't have such a yellow tint to them. But um, no, I'm not worried about LEDs or projectors or any of that stuff. I don't really think half the time they do much better. Like the wife's car has projectors on it. And they're trash and that's factory Toyota stuff. And they're headlights, but they ain't as good as the halogen truck lights. Whidbey, Whidbey Island, Deception Pass. Is that in, where's Deception Pass at? Oh, Washington State. Whidbey Island. Happy New Year's, everybody. All right. We'll grab another one. We got to be careful with labels on this one. I should probably, like, cover these up before I start doing all this. Brian Curbs. Cheers, Brian. Thank you for the donation. Happy New Year's. Uh, so this is from Deborah in... Uh, Australia, way down under. There's another thing on the back here. NSW Australia, is that New South Wales? What did you say her name was? Deborah? She might be on here. Deborah, if you're in here. Just hold it down here so I don't got there's address on both sides of this thing. So I know it's in it because you have to label that on international packages. And uh, when I picked it up from the post office, it was kind of like popped open. So hopefully there's nothing missing out of here. Oh, there's a letter in there. All right. All the way from Australia. Hey, Quady, loving the videos and your adventures. It's great to see just the normal down-to-earth guy doing what he loves. You appreciate everything you see uh, and receive. Here's a little something I made up for you to celebrate your 100,000 followers. You always talk about merch. This is just an idea. I wasn't sure about the size. Look forward to seeing more adventures along the way. Merry Christmas to you and Mrs. Q. Watching from Australia. Sam and Deb. We'll see you in a bit. P.S. I have an idea for your Lady Quady. For a Lady Quady shirt for your wife. Yes, Lady Quady. All right, what is this? She says she's hiding under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, y'all, we made it to camp. <laughs> That's great. Can you guys see it? Well, y'all, we made it to camp. That's exactly what I talk like, how I talk in the video. That's great. Thank you. I appreciate it. 2X, I am extra large, typically. I got to slow down or I might be up in the doubles here soon. Oh, oh and on the back it says, I, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Yeah.
Sam and Deb, I appreciate it. All the way from Australia. Made with love. What is that postage cost? <laughs> wasn't as wasn't as expensive as you'd think to mm. ship a shirt. I like the handwritten letters. Very nice. Well, cheers. And Happy New Year, because you guys are already in the New Year down there. Trap sword. Cheers, man. When was the last time I pooped my pants? <laughs> oh, I must have been... I, I pooped the bed once. I was sick. I was really sick. I pooped the bed, dude. I'll, I'll admit it. And uh, thankfully, I had pajama pants on, but I had food poisoning, dude. It was rough. <laughs> Was that the food? That was the food poisoning time. I don't remember. I don't think it was. I think you were just really sick. I know. And then I got up and tried to go to work. And my wife was like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> go back to bed. Shit I shit the bed, man. It happened. Never trust the fart. Uh, well, thank you. Running out of spot to put it. Yeah, Pammy, I've had some rough food poisoning. There was one time when I was laying on the floor at work and I called my wife from the floor and I was like, uh, I was like, because she had gotten sick the night before and uh, it was from, you were laughing. and I was making fun of her. I was like, ah, oh, you got it, dude. And then, uh, and then it happened to me the next day and I'm laying on the floor in the bathroom at work and I call her up and I was like, once I feel like I can get up and walk again, I'm coming home. And I laid on the floor in the bathroom at work for probably a good half hour, 45 minutes. And uh, finally made it home. And that was like a three-day adventure of feeling like you were about to die. We think it was from it was a bunch of a bunch of people, a bunch of people in our family got it because it happened at like a a birthday party yeah we kind of feel like it was some chicken that was got from a local store like you get cooked chicken or whatever in the you know think it was the chicken jr ever confuse your pee bottle in your water bottle no thankfully Jesus. At least it went down the drain, probably. All right. Let's pop open another one. Let's get off that subject. Amazon package. Oh, no. This, I think this one might be pretty rough. Enjoy your gift, Quady. Hope you and your wife have a good Christmas. Happy New Year from Biker Beast from Jesse Wyman. Jesse, I think this is going to be a pretty rough hot sauce, isn't it? It sounds hot. Scott, oh man, how do you poop when camping in your truck? You use a bag, man. Bag and you can sit on a, a bucket. Travis uses a bucket. Sometimes you just hover the bag. However, you got to do it. Uh, it's not glamorous. I think I've done that before. <laughs> Try to open the box upside down. All right, we got some hot sauce in here. I'm sure. Oh man, this is this is. Uh, Based, I guess you would say, it's very on topic for the current conversation. Professor Fart Fart Pounders Colon Cleanser Original Formula Flushing Agent. It's a hot sauce. <laughs> That's funny. Very, very based on the current topic, I guess. Hey Kim, 0012, you need a litter box. Yes, uh, guys, you can do that too. You can you can 
take kitty litter uh, and use it just like a cat does. And it works very well. Uh, obviously, you got to get rid of it just like anything else, but you can use kitty litter just like a cat does. Well, Jesse, <laughs> thank you for this. We'll give it a shot. That's, uh, uh, I have a feeling though, this is going to, it's got to taste good. Like they went, they went through the time of, of, you know, kind of the nicer bottle. And it's probably going to be tasty. Hopefully it's not too dang hot. Serving size is one teaspoon. Can't be that rough. And fart pounders is spelled P H A R D T pounders. Well, cheers. Thanks for that one. I got to get back on the hot sauce. We've got a lot of them to try. Sometimes it's hard thinking of stuff to cook, to be honest with you. That's somewhat different but also doesn't take like too many ingredients or you don't have to cook so many different things like separately uh i like to try to keep the meal simple so yeah a lot of times he asks for my help and opinions and then he immediately tells me no so. <laughs> she doesn't watch a lot of my videos so uh, she doesn't know what I cook half the time because she'll suggest something. And I'm like, that was two weeks ago. You're a little late on that one. Not even that. Though. You just don't like my ideas. Well, some of them are <laughs> some of them are definitely more more difficult. Not more yeah, difficult. Just like yeah. there's a lot of ingredients. You got to yeah, cook this first, and yeah, yeah, there's a lot more steps. Yeah. I try to keep try to keep the steps simple. Like. I, I don't know. I'm chilling at camp. I don't, I'm not trying to make some big, super grand meal. It's just keep it chill. I'm sure I've, you know, you guys have probably heard me talk about the fact that I could just have hot dogs at camp every night and be cool with that. A whole chicken. People have asked me to do a whole chicken, like a rotisserie chicken. I can try it. They'll be laying in the truck with salmonella again. <laughs> I don't know. I could try it. A fried turkey wouldn't suck. Uh, man, I don't have a. I don't have like a big fryer or anything. I think I don't have a lot of oil. But like, I'm not going to eat a whole turkey by myself. Is the thing. Uh, cowboy taking steak and taters. I mean, I've done steak and takers before. It's been a while. I've never done a cowboy steak. Like, I don't think I've ever tossed one right on the coals in the fire, which is a normal thing to do. Beer can chicken. Like, it'd have to be a smaller chicken. Don McDaniel. I have, well, I guess what I have is not technically probably a Dutch oven, but I've got, like, a cast iron pot with a lid. Um, I, I did something in that before. Uh, Spatchcock it. Beer can chicken. Chorizo and egg tacos. I did chorizo in some video. I can't remember what. it. I think it was a burrito I made with it. Lon Bowers. Cheers, Lon. You need to find coal miner dishes that are very simple. Coal miner. Coal miner cooking. Scott Hutchinson. Cheers, Scott. When it rained in your truck, I felt so bad for you. Yeah, there was, I've had some water come in. I was worried that the new topper was going to leak, but as far as I know, we don't have any issues. It it kind of attaches, like, it just comes down farther on the sides. Uh, but that's all part of it. Like, you're going to have leaks. Uh, just got to do what you got to do. Lisa, I'm never going to run out of hot sauce. That's for sure. I've got a lot of it in the fridge. Uh, I think maybe since I like, I don't like, I don't want to give them away, but maybe once I get down to like half a bottle, I'll give one to the homie or something every once in a while. But, uh, cause I like it's taken over my fridge at this point. I feel like I need a fridge down here. 
uh, maybe I could get a get a little mini fridge instead of having a beer fridge. I have an extra hot sauce fridge. Hot dogs and sauerkraut. I can't tell you the last time I've had sauerkraut, but I don't mind it. Like, I feel like sauerkraut has to be, it's one of those things, like, there's definitely probably better sauerkraut than other sauerkraut, so, I don't know. Lisa Bennett with the pot roast, yeah, that's good stuff. My wife is, not that we came up with that recipe, but she's the one that always cooks it, typically. Pasties? Somebody's asking if you're going to. You're going to take mayonnaise for the next time you make burritos. Mayonnaise? Ah, I could try to, like, replicate that burrito, I guess, myself and see if I can do it. We, I was you talking. make it for me? Yeah, my wife wants to try it, too, because I've hyped it up, dude. It was so good. It was so good. And we got to talking about it, and it sounds weird, you know. And I've, the, some of the comments people gave were like, oh, that's not Mexican food or whatever. It does sound odd. Uh but if you take exactly what's in that, that what was in that, except maybe minus the jalapenos for some people, and you put it on bread, dude, that sounds like an amazing sandwich. Uh, and it's kind of like a BLT. I, I can't, I think there might have been tomatoes in the thing, uh, but it was really on par with a BLT. And having mayonnaise on a BLT is completely normal. I did that in my video when I made a BLT. I don't know, a few, I think that was in the top 10 thing. Um, so if you think about it that way, it's not, it doesn't sound that crazy. So you're just putting it on a tortilla. So, uh, I think, I think it's worth a shot if somebody wants to try to make one for themselves. We tried to talk a place today that we had never been to for lunch. The wife is hiding. She's in her usual hiding spot. She does have like a, she doesn't have one of these on. She's got a different one. Yeah, let me get that. Change out my hat here. We can. Maybe right there. Do it right there. Shoo. Don't want to get it too close to the fire. You see the, my, the raccoon had the hater blocker 1000s on. The blue blockers. Cheers, y'all. Matier. Push it. There we go. That's not that's not bad. But you need to put it up because it's like angled weird. Well, they can't tell it's angled that weird. Yeah, it's meant to be oh, like a it. it's meant to be a tiara. There you go. Just wear it normally. Mm -hmm. I don't have the my hair's well, looking. You have to pull your hair back. My hair's looking all funny. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel, Pammy, we'll blizzard camp if we get a blizzard. Ugh. The Midwest family. Greg's up in the house. What's up, homie? Happy New Year. I should have given you the fireworks. I had some fireworks over here. You want to come get them? You can come get them. There's a. Uh, there's a couple boxes of artillery shells sitting right there. Yeah. Well, I had memories. I was with Greg last year. We lit off fireworks. Yeah. Pastor Greg in the house. Eric CH, it is a very cozy fire. It's putting off some nice heat. My Rocket the Raccoon's chilling over there. We got Dashboard Jesus. He's like, everything's good, man. I'm going to save you from the depths of this fire. <laughs> Uh, Jean Coon, she just doesn't want to be on video. Not everybody wants to be on video. JR, yes, we're going to do a level on there. We got some parts waiting to go on. We're waiting on wheels and tires. Should have thought about that. Put a, what? A Happy New Year hat on Ted. We got 10 of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ted, we'll put this on Ted. <laughs> it fits him. There we go. 
That should stay enough. It's funny that the one thing fell down. I was hoping to actually find a spinning disco ball. Couldn't make it happen. Robbie M., I, I messaged Kelvin to see if he wanted to hang out. I haven't heard back from him. I just. Greg's having some Sailor Jerry. Greg's drinking Sailor Jerry's. It's all, hey, there we go. What was it? Remember when everybody was doing that nonsense? Backwards, upside down visors? No shots, y'all. No shots. Uh, it's not staying on my head. Dustin, not Bill Steins. Just have to wait for that one. Wait for that video. I don't know how to wear a tiara. Is this? Is it a tiara? It's a headband. Headband. It's a headband. Like that. I don't know what I'm doing. Shotgun. Woo. Maybe. We might be able to shotgun a beer. Tell you what. We got champagne. We'll try some of this before the end. The wife wants to try some. And we'll probably do. We're going to put some orange juice in and be real classy. <laughs> uh, it's just a tiny little bottle. And technically it doesn't say it's champagne. It just says sparkling wine. Which is basically it's the same thing, right? Some of them said champagne. We bought a small, cheap one because it's not really our vibe. But we'll have we'll try this before the end of it. I gotta be able to walk, y'all. All right. Another package. This one's from Amazon also. Oh, Travis is probably in here waiting for me to open something. Travis sent something. Keep your gift a surprise. Oh. Truck accessory from nobody. And it's in a gift bag. Is there a canoe in here? Same thing. It says truck accessory from nobody. Yeah, I don't know anything about wine. Piss jug. Funny story is we have one. Of I them. own one of these. <laughs> and his wonderful wife emptied it for a month or two after he had, uh, after he broke his leg. Yeah. It was easier to not get him up in the middle of the night and just do that. Yeah. My wife has emptied my piss jug. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Although this one looks like the top is probably more secure, but we could definitely put this in the truck. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you. I appreciate the the jug. I mean, it's basically a urinal kind of thing. You just you give it got a you got a hold you got a handle right here. You dangle your dangle in there, and it's got a lid. Thank you, nobody. <laughs> I guess it's kind of based on the conversation we've been having. Where is this live stream going? All right. Well, we got some colon cleanser hot sauce <laughs> and a piss jug. Are black eyed peas a thing for the new year? Black eyed peas? Why? Because I seen somebody post on Instagram about them today in uh, Esma Seric posted or is that asking if you're having black eyed peas for the new year no i don't know 
it's maybe a thing that we don't know. About. Maybe it's slang. I don't know. I mean, I know Black Eyed Peas was a band. Well, yeah, but we're a group. I don't know if you would call it a band, but yeah. no, having that for New Year's. No, I guess I've never heard of that. Incontinence. JR, you just got to stretch it out. <laughs> if it's really difficult, you get some salt, uh, get your pepper shaker and a set of tweezers and pour some pepper on it. And when it sneezes, you grab it with the tweezers. <laughs> Austin Powers, Black Eyed Peas is a southern thing for New Year's Day. I've never heard of that. Okay. Maybe we'll have to have some Black Eyed Peas and just give it a whirl. Tell us how to make them. Man. Yeah, what's <laughs> what's the recipe? You're just making Black Eyed Peas and... Brit, good luck and prosperity in the coming year. Never heard of that. Long ago famine when they had nothing but peas. I feel like I should be in... The South tomorrow eating peas. And Alan Kavanaugh says that you need to be, as far as he knows, you have to be licensed by the Champagne Province, France, to use the name Champagne on the label. The, the name Sparkling Wine is just get around that. Oh, so it's the know, same thing. Shitting us, or well, maybe you know, Alan. Alan's I legit. Don't I don't Alan think he's shitting us. Yeah. I don't know. Alan's the one that sent all the stuff from Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody said B A N A N A S bananas. Ooh, banana. Kyle the Killer. Yeah, y'all. Hit the like button if you're watching. 600 out of you watching and 309 likes. Let's get to another package. All right, this one I know. This is the license plate. You can feel it. This is from Andrew believe he was in the chat. Andrew G. From Minnesota. Collard greens and cornbread. Black eyed peas and cabbage. Yeah, have like, have you ever made made that before? Have you ever made black eyed peas? No. I don't know if any of the homies are really from the south. Anyway. Maybe. Oh. Ooh, three license plates, it looks like. Tell Jesus we definitely try Mexican salsa if he wants to send some. Jesus, yes. I like salsa. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> the package says it's from Andrew, and I opened this up. I was like, no way a dude wrote this letter. <laughs> The handwriting is very nice. And it's from the Mrs. and Andrew. So it says, hey, Quady, uh, here's a couple of license plates for you that my husband, uh, from my husband for your collection. We thought you would really like them. We enjoy your videos. Keep up the good work and looking forward to more adventures. Kelly and Andrew uh, in International Falls, Minnesota. Right? Yeah, amen. Not Montana, no. That's it, Mom. No, I'm in Minnesota. I'm, Minnesota. I'm dumb. All right, <laughs> that one's cool. State parks and trails. I don't know if I've seen that one. Mm -hmm. I would get a plate like that. We can get a bunch of different kind of plates here, but um, oh, and we got a matching set. Matchy sets are cool. Thank you for the plates. I'll get some sent out to you. Yeah, this one's cool. I wish we had something like this. Like, I can get one with, like, a turtle on it. Or uh, I can get one with, like, a sandhill crane on it. Or, uh, oh, they have one with a, a buffalo, a mountain goat. I don't know. Maybe one of these. Maybe I should, like, get a list of them together and ha let you guys vote on which plate I should get. If I can get one. Because for some reason, they give me commercial plates for the truck. And it might be kind of due to the weight of it but it seems weird to me i mean i guess i use it it is a business truck now at this point but andrew, andrew cheers andrew thank you 
and the missus has very nice handwriting. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. We'll get some sent back out to you. Yeah, that's cool. State parks and trails. I don't think we have a state park one. No state park ones here. We'll have to get these this we'll try not to have them all there. Wish they would stay spinning. Disco. Do the dance. Need a raccoon plate? Yeah, it would be rad if we had a raccoon plate. Like they would never do that, but that would be awesome. Robbie M, you want to don't tread on me Florida plate? There was some, and I think we talked about it in a live stream way back, but I think it's Alaska maybe has a plate that, sh or maybe it's, anyways, there was a state that had a license plate that was shaped like a bear. I don't think it was California. Um, it's a thing. It's a thing. I don't got to look it up. Like a die cut shape? Well, yeah, it was yeah. like, you know, like the, the bears walking or whatever. Uh, I swear, dude, I'm not tripping. Think you might be. No. Oh, Canada has one. Yeah, explore Canada's Arctic, Northwest Territories. Yeah, you could get a bear-shaped plate. So this is on eBay. Look at that. Shaped like an actual bear. Yeah, they got different ones. Like, this one looks older. So there's a blue one. Like, it's blue on here. I know you guys can't see it very well. But, yeah, those are cool. <laughs> Holy crap, $180 for that license plate. Some of them are collector's items, yeah. Like, you don't see those at the antique stores that you're walking around in. Joanne, I don't have any English number plates. No, like, nothing from nothing from overseas. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. That was tasty. Jesus. Stinks, yeah. <laughs> Daniel, cheers, Daniel. I gotta get to you something. Cheers. Thank you for the donation. Oh, do you want that? I guess I didn't get a six pack. I got a five pack because the wife wanted a cider. So the wife's going to try that caramel apple cider. And that's from a local spot. Cheers, Daniel. We're going to try this Alaskan limited release winter ale. So uh, cheers. Brewed with spruce tips. Ale brewed with spruce tips. 6.4%. So that one's a little bit... Uh, a little bit heavier. Cheers. Yeah, the cider's not not terrible. You and the wife shotgun. She would never do that. Like, I'd bet a thousand dollars she won't finish this. Uh, but they make a bunch of different different kinds of ciders here, and I, and I think they make like some different like just like blueberry and and stuff like that. But Dos Equis. Spruce nips? Yeah. Spruce tips. I am not a cider guy. They're too sweet for me. Ooh. Chinese food sounds good right now, though. But I got half a tray of rigatoni upstairs. Yeah, that's definitely... A different flavor from the fruity, the last two fruity ones. That's not bad. It's darker. We got the boof cup down here. 
guess we'll let's just do this. It's a little bit darker. Oh, you had to get a hoodie. Travis, yes, Travis, behave. Watch your football game, homie. Shepherd's pie would be good too. You got, yeah, you got your foot footwear on. <laughs> I should have got more noise noise makers to annoy you guys with. All right, we open up another one. Here, let's open up the package that Travis said. He's been in the chat. And got them Wisconsin cows on there. Travis, Ryan, and Reed. I want to show his address. A little scared of what's in here, honestly, but it's got his kids on there. His kid sent it in with him. Congrats on a hundred K. So we've got we've got some stuff in here. Michael, cheers, Michael. Thank you for the donation. And we've got the homie Travis wrote me a letter. Like, when's the last time one of your close homies wrote you a letter? Yeah. All right. I hope this finds you well. Congrats to an awesome 2023. Glad I was able to share so many laughs, smiles, and good times with you. Shit, we need to get we we got we got new tattoos together. Uh, you owe me one. The kids and I threw this together. Reed drew a picture for you. She is spot on. Picture of you. This is me. Hopefully, yeah, I think I'm holding it the right way. Thank you, Reed. I appreciate that. We might have to put that, we might have to hang that up down here. Uh, cheers to 2024. Can't wait to see you. Uh, we have to do more vans, fishing, motorcycles, laughs, and Adam's landlord. Oh, God. Much love to you and the missus for letting us kick it. Cheers. Your best internet friend, Travis. P.S. Mama tried this year. Let's go. P.S. Empty the box. P.S. There's more on the back, but we'll empty the box. So we've got some Jiffy corn muffin mix. We'll just start setting this stuff out here. We've got a button that says the world's greatest fisherman. We've got a Harley koozie here. That's pretty rad, too. And there's some hand warmers. Steve. Cheers, Steve. See? Thank you for the donation. Happy New Year. Looking forward to another year of great adventures. Cheers. Uh, oh, boy. Well, I guess we have a shot that we're going to have to take at this point. Shot of fireball. Koozie. A couple little things of freeze-dried coffee. This is like full-on lots of stuff. Quick trip book of matches. Two candles. I have a feeling his, his daughter helped him back this up. This is great. Oh, hell yeah. We've got some teriyaki jerky chew. We might have to put a dip in, y'all. That's rad. Tiny itty bitty bottle of Tabasco sauce. Uh, just keeps going in here. Team, teamwork. A button that says teamwork. 
like a lapel button. I wonder if this is from his job. <laughs> the shack? The shack? I don't know. Something in... I don't know. We've got a keys, uh, like a keys lanyard thing here. The shack. I don't know what this place is. He says, look it up. Look it up. All right. We got some crackers. Wonder if, I wouldn't think there's cheese in here, but we got a roll of crackers. Oh, maybe for this. Oh, there's more candles. Jalapeno pepper jelly. We've got some jelly, jalapeno pepper jelly. More candles. More candles. Oh, I love it. A moist towelette. A sticker of a zombie bunny. It says drop dead. That's great. The candles are to celebrate. The candles are to celebrate 100K. Okay. This looks to be, yes. Canned smoked salmon. Travis feeds me canned fish every time we meet up, and it's always very good stuff. He's classy with his canned fish. And I think that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. We got one more candle. Oh, no, there's more. Lifesavers? Oh. More candles. <laughs> I don't know if I can show that on the internet. I don't know what this is. This is some... Surgical sutures. If I cut myself on a camping trip, I have a pack of surgical sutures. If I had to. <laughs> and we've got a paperweight. That's a piece of wood, y'all. Oh, it's the candle holder. Oh, Travis, I love you, homie. Uh, I guess. Oh, we got to finish reading the letter. P-S-S-S. Ice Jamboree by me, late winter. The bar you... Uh, it's by the bar we went to. Edit, be here for the Jamboree. P-S-S-S-S. <laughs> Tell all your hot single lady followers to holler at me. Uh, hashtag homeless forever, forever homeless. Travis is the homie, dude. Uh... Sutures, teriyaki dip, lifesavers, a voice, a voice tell that. Oh, the bar you puked at. Yeah, I wasn't going to say that. Uh, he took me to a bar, and I was not ready to go to a bar at that time, but it was a good time. Uh, all right. Cheers, Travis. If anybody's going to take a shot, we'll take a shot. Of, I'm going to take this shot of Fireball. Cornbread muffins. <laughs> oh, man. Some lifesavers. And a portrait of me from his daughter. <laughs> this is great. Uh, looks like Sam Squatch. Looks like Sam Squatch, yeah. 
Greasy old Sam Squatch. All right. Travis is Travis is an amazing dude. Cheers, y'all. Ah, fireball. Woo. It's a little spicy. <laughs> all right i gotta put all this stuff back in the box here shout out for all the paper nuggets that are gonna be all over my floor oh that's an eclectic box crackers sutures yeah love it all right we're gonna, we might have to save this. I might have to put in a dip. We'll use that too. The candles. Do I have a lighter down here? Do you have a lighter? You don't pull them out? Well. What is this Hanukkah? You're just gonna do one? <laughs> oh, I thought it. I'm not even gonna blow I it out. I held more of them. Are you sure that's what that's for? Really? I love how innocent my wife is. I truly do. She's like, that's not really a candle holder. What is that for? It's wood. But yeah, there we go, candle holder. You really don't know what that is? I don't know if I can say it on the internet. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's not brass knuckles though, it's a piece of wood. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Foot TV. I was about to take a drink of the jalapeno jelly. Cheers, man. Happy New Year. What's up with your mom? Cheers, mom. All right. Let's finish putting our stuff away. Oh, we had he sent a book of matches. I had a match over here. Forgot. The candles are a good idea, too, guys. Like, uh, these are great to take camping with you. You can use these as fire starters. Obviously, it's going to yeah, try to continue to burn. Them. Yeah, you can use, uh, especially if you get the like the fake ones or not fake ones, like the gag ones that aren't supposed to go out. You have got the whole entire lake of that thing uh, to burn, you know, and if you, you can go buy a box of candles for nothing. All right. Not all of it, except the koozie and the letter there. Okay, y'all. Knuckle duster. Incense holder, yeah, there you go. I mean, it's a piece of wood. It's not gonna do much. All right, a little bit disorganized. Yeah, we're not going to catch anything on fire. Uh, I almost lit the ceiling on fire in here a couple of times during a live stream, but it happens, you know. You could have set a scented candle. Mike, Amy, you went winter camping over the past three days. Does your truck camper winters accumulate tons of condensation in the mornings? Yes, it, yes, it does. Especially if you don't like, uh, if you don't have a heater or something going in there, like an electric heater going in there. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of condensation on your windows. If you do, like, I don't know. I have the carpeted headliner. 
if you didn't have carpet or something off there, the entire thing would be the same way. Uh, so that's another one of the reasons I like running that electric heater. I like going to the campgrounds that have electricity in the winter, because if you run the heater in there all night, uh, you don't get as much condensation. Uh, you know, every once in a while I'll run the, the propane heater when I need to run propane, but that introduces more condensation. So, and you know, you need to keep a window open. I mean, I would recommend trying to keep a window open anyways. Uh, but yeah, unless you've got some source of dry heat, it's going to get condensation in there. Ernie is my camper heavy, like the topper, the shell that got put on there. They weigh a couple hundred pounds. They're not that bad. Kyle Dekilla, what's the next upgrade? Wheels and tires are in the mail. There's a, I've got a leveling kit and all sorts of stuff waiting to go on it. Uh, so whenever that stuff gets here. And then I'm going to try to get the topper painted shortly. So hopefully everything looks nice and matches soon. The greasy philosophical mechanic. Uh, cam specs on the old truck. If you go and if you go to like the video tabs on my my page or whatever, and you search by the oldest video, there's an old video of just like me revving the truck or whatever. And I'm pretty sure I have the cam specs listed in the description. It was like the uh, Texas Speed and Performance Stage Three truck cam. JR, no 35s, not yet. I have a feeling I, I got like a 33. I have a feeling that I'm going to really, really wish I would have bought 35s, but I'm also like, I really want to maintain some of the fuel mileage for a little while. Like, I don't want to immediately go down to 15 miles to the gallon. Like, I'm not willing to do that right away again. So, uh, we're trying to keep it somewhat chill. Ham Lumber, Happy New Year from the armpit of hell, Rochester, New York. <laughs> Happy New Year, man. Ernie, when are you putting a TV in the truck? I've talked about it, and we actually talked about, I thought about trying to just get a, a nicer projector maybe and hang a screen. Um, but the nice thing is, like, I have the, the tablet, which I can just download the movies directly on. So if I got a TV, I'd have to still download movies probably on my phone or on the tablet and then plug it in or something uh, because I'm not going to have Wi-Fi. I guess I could, if I had Wi-Fi, I could cast from my phone, but I don't know. I've thought about it, but then you got to have more 12 volt. You got to have more power. Like the, the tablet works fine. I wish it was a little bit bigger and I've looked at some bigger ones, but you know, it's a Samsung tablet and like a, what were we looking at? Like a 15 inch tablet or 12? I don't remember. I don't remember. I was looking at the next size up and it was like a G and I'm like, no, I'm good. I'll keep the little one. But I don't know. I'd like, uh, I think if I do something, I'm going to get like a, a projector or something, a cheap projector, and kind of mess around with that. Daytona Forever, why not just use a small motorhome? Well, it's going to be way worse gas mileage. You can't buy a new motorhome for any anywhere near what I paid for a new pickup truck. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with you stuff, but like, I'm not daily driving a motorhome everywhere. Uh, it would be... It would be cool to have a driving motor home, but uh, I don't have anywhere to store anything like that. It's just, that's, that's, Maybe someday. yeah, that's years down the road, but it would be really cool to have. Like, I'd be fine being one of those old heads driving around in a big diesel pusher, hauling my Jeep, you know, trailer my Jeep around everywhere with me and just going and having a good time, but uh I don't know if I'll ever have enough money to be that guy. Six hundred ninety-eight of you out there in the chat, man! Cheers to all you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate. I don't know if I've ever. Yeah, we've probably been close to that before, but 
there's a lot of you guys in here, man. Cheers to all you guys for tuning in. And I don't know. I still don't know why you want to watch me because I'm just, I truly am just your average idiot. But, uh, you're not an idiot. You're just a goofball. Well, yeah, I guess. Uh, I've got a lot of plans and stuff for 2024. Like, uh, we might change some, some things up a little bit, but I'm still thinking about all that. But I'm excited for 2024 and what we're going to do. And it's a big trips this year. Like, I didn't get any. I mean, I don't want to say I didn't get any big trips. And I went to Texas. I went, I went in Minnesota, Wisconsin. Like, I went a lot of places, but didn't get to the places that I wanted to get to. Missed the... Missed the Grand Canyon with my wife. Still big sad about that. We've each seen the big crack, but we saw it not together. 2023, like, I had a lot of cool stuff. Like, I got a new truck and I got a van, but it was still somewhat the year of the suck. Aro Brewer, cheers, Aro. Thanks for the donation. Brent, I appreciate that, Brent. I hope a lot of people think I'm a decent person. Art Garcia, any plans to come to the Southwest soon? Definitely possible. Definitely, definitely possible. Maybe like February, March. We'll see. Steve C, 2024. Nah, Steve's got it on point, man. Steve, thank you for the donation. That's, uh, I see what you did there, man. Cheers. Daytona forever. Yeah, the van and Alan. Cheers, man. Alan, I appreciate it. The van and the truck are awesome. Yeah, the new stuff is awesome. Like, I can't deny it. Uh, it did none of it happen in order. I said I was going to buy a van for 100000 and then the truck died. I bought the van. Then we basically, I bought the new truck, and then we hit 100000 So we just had an unexpected truck purchase, basically, is what happened this year. Uh, so... But it's nice. Like the old one served its purpose. I still have it, dude. I'm excited that I have that thing. Uh, once we get it running again, I'm excited for the fact that it does not have to serve daily driver duties. So it can be as dumb as we want it to be. So stay tuned for that when we finally get started on that whole thing. But I'm excited for <coughs> I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if my wife is probably excited for any of that, but I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah. Homeless forever, forever homeless. Spicy ramen burrito hangover. You know, <clears throat> spicy ramen burrito hangover. That sounds like a breakfast burrito that needs to be made. Ramen and eggs. I don't, ramen and eggs are good. Like cracking an egg and ramen is great. I bet you could make a ramen breakfast burrito and make it pretty good. You might be on to one there. Arrow Brewer, cheers. Thank you for the donation. Now you're just getting me to sip beer. Uh, all right. Let's open up another one before we crack another beer. All right. This is another personal package. And the side of this box says one of two, but I don't think there's, well, maybe that's it. No, no, uh, it says one of two, but I think that might've just been on the box. Maybe this box was reused at some point. I don't know, but this is from Susan out of, Canna Johari, New York. Canna Johari. Hopefully I'm saying that right. We might just open this upside down so I don't have to show you the don't show you the address on there. Oteca Barton. We might jam till midnight. It's 934 here, so I guess that depends on where you're at. So we might. I figured I'd go until at least 11. 11 here would when is when the ball would drop in like New York City. So, oh, what do we got here? I'm feeling there's a, yeah, 
gotta be a letter in here. I feel like that's some um, t-shirt. I don't know. Very nice handwriting, Susan. Uh, Quady, hello from upstate New York. We have been enjoying your videos for a while now, especially the ones with historic markers. Being in a wheelchair and unable to do much traveling makes me feel like I'm out and about, and I want to thank you for that. Hope you enjoy the hot sauce and hoodie with the picture of Kana Johari Falls. Kana Johari, I think I said it right. She's got it like kind of high, uh, phonetically spaced here. Uh, Hope to have you in the Mohawk Valley someday. Susan, Parker, and Crystal Barnes. So I think this is hot sauce. I was like, why is there an ink, uh, an ink package? Oh, I've had some of this before. It's good stuff. I like it. Uh, mule sauce. It was your brother that gave me this. This is what... Uh, from Sticker Mule. So there's Sticker Mule, the company that I have a feeling they got the shirt from, maybe, is uh, they make some hot sauce. And we got a couple of stickers in there. Or maybe a magnet. Oh, these are magnets. A couple of schmagnets. What does that say? Fonda Fair? Fonda Fair. And then Sticker Mule. Sticker Mule, you guys can buy stickers and like you can have stickers and stuff made. You can have shirts and stuff made. So let's see what's on the hoodie here. Ooh, this is nice. Pretty. What's it say on there? Canada Jahari, New York. We got the. Got the falls on there. Don't see that? Yeah, we might have to go check that spot out. Well, thank you. I appreciate the hoodie. And uh, the sauce. I suppose I could probably put this on, huh? We'll put the hoodie on. Try not to show you all my, show you my giblets. <laughs> uh, I don't need to show them all my guts. My stomach tattoos they probably never seen. I am definitely, <laughs> definitely a dork. So. There we go. <laughs> Close your eyes. Show the moobs. You guys don't need to see the moobs. Definitely need to get back on the exercise train. <laughs> the moves are coming in hot. I got a solid A cup. Thank you. We got a few more down there, y'all. Need to grab another cerveza, though. Tell you what. Barkman says he can easily see you getting 500000 before the end of the year. Just keep doing your thing. Let's, let's hope. I got to do more stealthers. You guys seem to really like the, the abandoned house video, and that's what pushed us over that 100000 Uh So, yeah, definitely thoughts on doing more stuff like that. Yeah, we'll see. 2024, man. Year of the not to suck. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? I think you picks one. No? I grabbed this one. So this is 
Gramber Amber Ale, the original Graham Cracker Amber Ale. So we've got Graham Cracker Amber Ale. A rich amber ale infused with the subtle sweetness of graham crackers. Let me give this a shot. Yeah, get your tiara, Pammy. Better get on the vibe. Does your wife ever get on video? No. I don't think you've no. You've never been in one. Uh, you can catch me in a couple of them, but mm -hmm. not purposely yeah <laughs> fats too large <laughs> solid a cup for sure all right graham cracker ale michael ridge done uh that's i'd really like to get into doing some more stuff like that my big issue around here is i don't have any like and I've been, I sent a couple emails out to people and I haven't heard anything back, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but I'm looking for like private areas in the local, private spots in the local area where I can film stuff like that. That's like, say less than two hours away or something. Um, but like heavily tree property where, you know, I can set up a camera so anywhere and you're not you know, like half the places I go, you turn the camera one way and it's just a parking lot or there's like just an open field. I want to I want to be somewhere where I can get trees everywhere and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm kind of looking for a spot like that around here to do that at. But then you run in and it's not that it's a problem, but like I need a spot where I can do my thing and film videos by myself. And it's not just well, you can come over and hang out with us and. You know, I need a spot where I can do this on my own. Uh, Aro, I may have I may have not heard back on an email from Sir Flair, but he's a busy man. You know, I can't expect him to let me use his stuff. So, but I did try to hit him up. Hoover, I'd camp with Mav. I'd camp with Steve. I'd camp with Fish and more. Like, but. Ooh, that's good. Graham, like, you can taste the graham cracker. You can taste the graham cracker in that. It's pretty good. There was one that was like a s'more. I've had that. Yeah. yeah. Jay Bish from Aniston, Alabama. Cheers. Happy New Year, man. Devin, yeah, I'd do that with Travis. Travis keeps talking about riding choppers all over the place. Dude, I've never, like, he's ridden with me, but it, I've only seen dude ride a couple times, and it's not very far. <laughs> I don't think he can hang. Like, I, 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 I could ride farther than Travis any day of the week. I'll say that right now. You got to get yourself a bagger, homie. Talk to me about putting on some miles. Caveman camping, hike with Forsty, and have his little dog kick my ass. That dog would put me to shame within the first mile. Uh, it doesn't help that I smoke cigars like it's going out of style, y'all. But, uh, yeah, lots of plans, like lots of stuff like that that I want to do. But head down to Desperado Ranch. I thought about hitting him up, man. I don't know if that's if that's a spot where I could get into or not, but that would be a cool spot too. Deborah, will you ever do a bloopers video? Yes. So you guys have asked for that before and I've never like, I've never taken the time when I'm editing a video. Like when I go to edit a video, I might have 45 or 50 video clips. I don't know what other guys are doing, but I film a lot. I film way too much. So I've got like 50 video clips that I go through and I usually like I'll put together the first cut of the video and it's however long. And I go back through the video a couple of times, cut out more of the nonsense. Uh, but I never like, I never think about saving some of those weird files into like a different folder or whatever. So at the end of the year, like I don't have anything set aside. Uh, but in 2024, I will set aside bloopers and uh, just like you will. 
photos for your your yes <laughs> Yes, it, I'll set aside blooper clips. So we will have a 2024 blooper reel, 100%. And the wife just harassed me and said, take thumbnail pictures. Dude, th the, the title in the thumbnail of your video is like 90% of the importance because you're ultimately you got to get somebody to click on that or you're never going to get the view. So like there's so many there's so many videos that I've put out that I feel were better than 90% of the ones that have gotten a lot of views, but a lot of it is, you know, I didn't have a, a thumbnail that was good and the video just didn't perform as well, even though I think the content of the video is better. And there's so many channels out on YouTube and so many videos they could put out that are amazing content and you just don't see it because their thumbnail sucks or the title is terrible. And so YouTube, like it just doesn't get seen by everybody. So I got to do better with my thumbnails. Some of my thumbnails I feel like are absolute trash. Uh, and uh, I've said it, I don't know, my wife is probably sick of it because I'll get home and I'm like, I didn't fucking take a thumbnail picture. What am I doing? You know, that's like, this is my job. I got to take it that I just needed one good photo. And so it ends up with me just using a screenshot of something that was in the video, which is normal. Uh, but you got to think, oh, Think about what you're doing in that aspect of it, but yeah. Dustin, 1975 thumbnails equal clickbait. Every th every picture you see is a thumbnail. Uh, it's just getting the most correct one that goes with your title that shows what you're doing appropriately. Uh, is what it is. Ceiling fan flyer. I do still have the Honda. I haven't written it in a while. Greg's Greg started it. It's still at the homie Greg's place. Greg and, sent my kids mess yesterday. Were we supposed to go over there? We could have. They kind of wanted us to, but I was doing this. Oh, and then, oh. you know, uh, I invited it over for this, but I knew he wasn't going to be able to make it for this. But uh, So, yeah, I still got the dirt bike. JR, how long does it take one 30-minute video to edit? It depends on how many clips I had, but between, like, moving all the files onto my computer, editing it, um, getting it uploaded, doing all the YouTube stuff, editing the thumbnail and all that crap, minimum of probably four hours. And that's because I changed my internet, so my upload speeds are a whole lot faster. So probably four to six hours on average. Uh, but honestly, I feel like I could, I could easily edit one video for an entire day because so many times I'm drum, I'm putting the video out just to get it out on like my scheduled time that I want to keep myself to. Uh, and I'm not satisfied with the video itself. You know, uh, there's more spots where I could have done better edits. I could have pulled out a lot more of the trash. I could have, uh, put better music in certain parts to get the better vibe of the video, blah, 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 blah. When you're doing this, you just shit on yourself the whole time as you're, as you're thinking about it or whatever. But, uh, minimum, minimum on average four to six hours. New York, New York. Cheryl, best friend's daughter had her appendix out. That's a bummer. Not the way you want to spend New Year's, but you'll never forget what happened. Deborah, have I ever forgot to pick up the camera driving off? No. I love, like, that's the thing is I love the editing process. Sometimes I don't want to sit down to do it, but we all have things in our jobs that we just don't want to sit down to do. Uh, but I love the editing process and that's a bummer because sometimes like I don't, I just don't feel like I edit the video. Like I, the edit's not good, but I put the video out because I'm trying to stick to a schedule, you know? So, uh, it is what it is. We'll see what 2024 brings, you know, all that stuff. Patrick, have I thought about doing shorts? Yes. And no, uh, <laughs> Wife's trying to blast me. Where did that even go? I don't know. 
surprised you have one that said 2024. Oh, I got another one sitting right here. I got three left. <laughs> My wife tried to blast me with one of these. Did it go behind me? I don't know where it went. No? Didn't, it's like it didn't even work. Uh, <laughs> Eric CH, the camera zoo was OG. The camera, yeah, I used to have an old, it was this one that I dropped. This camera that I broke right here. If you guys missed that video where I broke the camera, you can see that's probably not going to work any, very well. This does not, this does not have a removable lens. I could probably have it fixed, but I kind of like just, Setting this thing on the shelf. Uh, it's hanging a little to the left, boys. But oh, it turned on. There's still got it's still got battery life, but it does not work. Carl Brewer, 2024 new president. Crazy for president. Uh, cheers, man. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> yeah. Jerry Johnson never thought about an electric bike edition. Yes, I'd love to get an electric bike. Uh, it's, I mean, honestly, it's just not in the budget right now with all the truck nonsense that I'm trying to take care of. Uh, and I got probably got an email from one last week trying to send me one, but I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't like taking a lot of junk from companies like that that I don't know about. So that's why I've never done one, but we might have to build build something like that. Mary Griffith, happy new year. Happy new year, Mary. What's up, Chew? Cheers. Susan from Virginia. Cheers, Susan. My camera leads to the right. Uh, all right. Another package. Go with the smaller one. I picked this one up yesterday. Magnus Falls Church, Virginia. I have a feeling this is going to be a hot sauce bottle in here. <laughs> Travis, this one doesn't zoom like that. This one's a manual lens, so it does not do that. This one I can remove the lens. That one didn't have a removable lens. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Ooh. Not a hot sauce. This is the best lager you'll ever have. Enjoy, Mac. From Brown Distributing. I don't know if he wants, I'm not gonna put his, not gonna show you his phone number. If you wanna hit up Mac, if you need some distributing in the, uh, Virginia area. Brewski from Ashland, Virginia. I'm not going to I'm not going to open this tonight. We'll save this one for a video, an actual camping video. But yeah, there we go. Crushed it. Take a shot of hot sauce. To just do this thing as a shooter, dude. I can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, we're going to save this one for a video. Thanks, Mac. Uh, do I want to? We don't need to put it in the computer.
make sure make sure the fire's not going to go out anytime soon. Nope, nope. We still got like 10 hours of fire going over there. Travis, cheers, Travis. Thank you for the donation, you goof. Where's Nebraska Kenny? I don't know where he's at. Pray at his spot. <laughs> Travis, that's gas money. Come visit. Oh, man. care what <laughs> if Quady gets lost in the woods does anybody care eh. if you oh. for those of you like and I've, I've i watched it on a video i think a couple of times that i've talked about it if you think that joke is funny or whatever uh, or getting lost in the woods there's a video it's a movie but it's on youtube it's called tex montana will survive actually i'm going to look that up quick Travis, I completely forgot I had your I had that bumper for your van. I do need to bring that to you. Let me get you guys a link here. If you like my videos, but you want something that's funny and it's a movie, but it's it's hilarious, watch this. Tex Montana will survive. I dropped it in the chat so you can you can save it or whatever. It's a YouTube video. It's a YouTube movie. It's hilarious. And it was uh, one of this one of you guys out there uh, recommended it to me. Jenna out of Florida recommended it to me. Sent me a message on on Facebook and she's like, "Bro, you got to watch this movie." And I hope you're not mad at me after you watch it. Uh, but it was hilarious. Anyways. Check that out at some point. That video, I feel like that movie should have way more views. But Mom Meatloaf. Cotton Eye Joe. Logan, 1970. No, I was not in the Navy. That was sent in. Alan, Travis must have remortgaged his house to support your lives. <laughs> oh, Travis. Aaron Sanker, a tomahawk or throwing knives at camp would be fun. That would be kind of fun to play around with. I don't know what the legalities of just chucking an axe around camp are. Uh, well, we could probably check out something like that. Main man 337. I don't know if I have a main plate. Maybe. I have a lot of license plates at this point. I probably have a main one. I'll have to, like, at some point I should sit down and go through all of them and see how many of the states I have. Flea, tell the story again about before you started YouTube. Was it a job injury? No, I worked a job that I worked three 12 hour days. So I had four days off every week. And so at the time I was doing a lot more fishing, fishing poles and stuff right there. Uh, and I was out fishing and it was the December like 19th, 21st. December 21st. And, uh, I just fell over. Like I slipped on the bank and fell over and my right leg just busted in half, blew my leg up. I've got a rob from my knee to my ankle now, still bolted in there. It, it goes through my shin bone. There's a big metal rod inside my shin bone and a bunch of screws everywhere in here. I just fell over and I ended up losing my job over it because my leg wouldn't heal. And I was sitting here watching a bunch of guys on YouTube, a bunch of local dudes and like these guys are here and they're doing it and it's working and i was like i can do that and so here we are uh it wasn't exactly that simple big shout out to the wife for we watched a lot of YouTube yeah of yeah six months basically of sitting on the couch while my leg was busted and i watched a lot of local youtube so uh yeah that's that's about it and here we are Jim G was alcohol involved. No, I was I was out fishing a spillway and I just fell over. 
middle of the afternoon. Yeah, like three o'clock in the afternoon. I I fell over. I knew my leg was immediately broken. I like I felt it and I heard it pop. There's a video on here where I show the X-rays. And uh, so the first thing I do is I call my wife and I was like, I just broke my leg. Can you call the ambulance? <laughs> she starts freaking out. And I'm just laying there. To be clear, you were freaking out. I was freaking out a little bit too. Because my my leg was like, you know, if your leg was straight right above my ankle, my leg was like this. And my, I had a cowboy boot on and it was just dangling. Uh, and you were in a lot of pain. I was in, yeah. And probably in shock. Maybe a little bit of shock. Yeah, it was pretty rough. No, I my foot just slipped out. And uh, as I fell over, I twisted and my foot just and it like spiral fractured. Uh, but there's a video on my channel called some I think it's called one year after the accident. Why I started my YouTube channel and probably from December of 2019. Yeah. And so it's been five years this December was five years since I broke my leg and five years and a hundred thousand subscribers later, y'all moths are awesome out there. Uh, cheers. Yeah. Scott Hutchinson. Good night, man. Cheers. Happy new year. Across the pond. Appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, completely. Like, the, I never, never in a million years expected to be on this tangent of life. Like, uh, never, ever would have thought that this is where I'd be at 39. I'm 39? Yeah, I'm 39 years old. 39 and three quarters. 39 and three quarters. Uh, never would have thought that this is where I would be or this is what I'm able to do right now. Like, and I've talked to my wife and other friends, like, I don't have any delusions that this is going to last forever at all. Like, uh, maybe it will, maybe I'll be able to ride this wave for a long time, but I don't, you know, I don't have any delusions that that's actually going to happen. But, you know, at this point, you know, minus the time where I was healing, you know, let's just say for the last four years, like I've been able to do amazing things because you guys are watching the videos and go visit amazing places and 2024 is going to be wild uh i've met amazing people travis like never would have met travis had i not shattered my leg and lost my job uh so there's there's it's just it's just been a wild existence for the last four years like sometimes you can't wrap your head around it and sometimes you're like you're definitely living that imposter syndrome of like what the fuck am I doing? You know, uh, but it's been amazing. And I, you know, it's all because you guys are watching the videos. Like, I don't know, you know, hundred thousand it's, it's, it's a hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. Like I grew up in a town of like 25,000 people. So, you know, and that was, there's a lot of people that 25,000 is a lot of people. You think of a town that large, like, well, there's four times as many of you out there that have subscribed to the videos and, you know, to think at, on average, like every video, like it'd be like the entire town I grew up in was watching that video. So that's kind of something that I've always thought about. Uh, you know, some of you, I'm sure live in cities with 7 million people or whatever. So it's different, but yeah, like there's more people that are subscribed and watching these videos on average than in the size of the town I grew up in. Cheers. another package that one went down very smooth it was good graham cracker ale that was pretty tasty infusion brewery yeah infusionbrewing.com i think that's it for our funky six pack got a couple of coors lights in there got to keep the coors on deck because you guys always want me to shotgun a beer uh cheryl yeah you live in the country yeah my wife grew up in the country she's a farm girl ro your personality is why you're here well i appreciate that because i think most people struggle with their self-deprecation and you don't think that you're that kind of person but i don't know 
I guess I'm a nice guy. My wife likes me, so <laughs> that's good. Most of the time, yeah. All right. We got this one. There's four more down there. Amazon package. Alan, no, you got to leave comments on. Can't limit comments like that. If people can't interact with you, why would they watch what you're doing? Like, that's part of it is the interaction. Most people are good. And yeah, most comments are good. You're going to have bad people. But like, if you couldn't have commented on my videos, we it, just like now, we wouldn't be able to interact. So you got to leave comments on. If you're going to do YouTube and you're going to like really try to do YouTube, you got to have thick skin because there's a lot of dumb people that will just talk nonsense and can't let it bother you. All right. Merry Christmas, Mike. I enjoy watching your videos. Thank you for making them. I thought you could use this on your adventures. Best from Laura. Laura L. Laura L. M. Laura M. Oh, it's a table. Looks like another roll-up table. I've gotten one of these. And I bought you one. And my wife is... Yeah, yours is way bigger than this, though. Yeah. I feel like this is a little bigger than the last one though maybe so i have received these one of these before and yeah my wife just said she she got me a big coleman one but it looks to be a uh like a folding table you can set up I think it's the same thing. Is it blue? Or is the other one is not blue. But you got the top of it there. Oh, this would fit the van very nicely. Yeah. With all the blue. And then you pop the top on. Wait a second. Yeah, that's not down in there where it should be. There we go. There we go. So it's like an aluminum folding table. And I, I, I have one of these, but this one is blue. That'll look nice in the van. It does look a bit smaller than the last uh, one. Maybe it is a little shorter. It might be a little shorter than the other one. But yeah, you sit low in there. Yeah, I sit low in the van. Well, and it would look good with that other chair. Yeah, these things are legit, y'all. Very nice. And it comes with a nice bag, separates it out in there. Cheers. Did I miss it? Merry Christmas and Happy oh, I see New Year it. to you. Pipple Top 5, thank you for the donation. I, that one scrolled by me. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. Love watching all my videos from Ontario, Canada. Cheers. 
gonna crack another one open. We don't need to put this in the. I don't know if this koozie that Travis sent is small enough. Yeah. Oh, that's from the Harley Museum. Oh yeah, Travis, man, thank you for the thank you for the koozie, homie. Best internet friend ever. I don't know. You and Pastor Greg might have to fight for the internet friend trophy because, although no, I didn't meet I didn't meet him that way. I met him. I met him through an internet friend. Friend of it was like through two. Oh, it was right? two two friends right. separated right. from the internet friend. Yeah. yeah. I called Travis an internet friend like we were hanging out, and I don't know something. I was like, we met on the internet, and he got kind of mad, and now it's he got kind of sad that I called him an internet friend, but now it's our thing. It's just how we met. We met on the internet. <laughs> Uh, I think that's like some people think it's still weird, but like, I think half the people like other than a few people that I used to work. Yeah. Other than a few people that I used to work with, like I've met so many people from, uh, well, at the time they were like forums, like car forums and motorcycle forums and stuff like that. Uh, now like everything is on YouTube or on, uh, or like all the Facebook pages or whatever, but I've met so many rad people from the internet, like internet friends for life. <laughs> you were on point with that one. Mine is whack, dude. <laughs> Sounds like an elk. It sounds like a dog whistle. And you gotta blow super hard. Oh, man. Made Man 337, do you ever get stopped by the police when you're out doing your camping videos? Not by any police, but I did get stopped by the... Uh, it was in Iowa. It was Iowa DNR. Iowa DNR stopped me. I was turning around in the middle of a gravel road, and he pulls up next to me. He's like... You're crazy quaity, aren't you? And then he took me to a camp spot. He showed me a bunch of cool stuff and showed me this really cool spot to camp at. Uh, so that turned out turned out good. Uh, there's it's actually a video. Like I, I think the title of it is "Escorted to Camp by Iowa DNR" or something like that. So there you go. Yeah, park ranger. Like I watch your videos. And yeah, he took me to a scenic overlooked, told me about the whole place. And then he's like, I can show you where to camp. And he had a his DNR truck and he was like, and it was at a cool spot in Iowa. If you haven't seen that video where like you'll drive through and the these roads have been carved out in the hillside. And so the hills are like 30 feet up, straight up on the side of you, just straight up dirt. And dude is just jamming up this hill. It is state truck, just floored it up there. He's like, I'm retiring two months. Uh, it was pretty rad. He showed me his little collapsible fire pit when we got when he after he showed me the spot. So yeah. 100 k awards right there. It could go above the TV, I guess. Oh, it could, yeah. Like maybe right over there. You would be able to see it better. Well, yeah, but I don't always show the CD rack. Yeah. Uh my brother painted that. My brother also painted that. Those were like high school jobs he did. Uh, but if you do really cool art, you can send me that. I might hang it up if it fits somewhere in there. So maybe small art. But if somebody wants to spend small art, cool art that's wall appropriate, there's not a whole lot of space yet, but we could fill it up. Uh, all right. Where are we at down here? Mike, Amy, have you ever considered getting a 12-volt powered cooler fridge? I have thought about it, but I don't feel like like it would be cool. And it's probably one of those things that after I get it, I'll be like, why the hell didn't I buy this five years ago kind of thing? But I don't know. 
I've got like 10 emails from Blue Eddy. They might have something coming out like that that they want me to show you guys that I haven't asked. I haven't responded to them because I'm a piece of shit. Uh, my husband, my my wife doesn't like it when I'm self-effacing, self-deprecating. My wife doesn't like it when I'm self-deprecating. But I don't know. I, I I wouldn't mind having one for longer trips, but unless I'm going to leave it in there plugged in all the time, like ice for one night or two nights is is probably all right. James responded to the sponsors. I don't want to. Ted time is right. You guys want to hear Ted? I guess we've been on for a couple hours. We'll get one Ted button. I don't know where he's at on his thing, but we don't need to go through all of them again. One Ted button. He's kind of rocking the... Oh, oh, he lost his hat. Try to get this to not fall off his head. It's not going to work that way. All right. Do you, you ever hear a Boston girl have an orgasm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Had a, had a. Oh, God, that was so good. Now I'm going to stuff my fucking face with Pepperidge Farm. One more. You never should have trusted me. I'm on drugs. <laughs> oh, Ted. Ted's definitely one of the top ten gifts. I got a couple of donations. Arrow, arrow Brewer waking up. Pitbull. Oh, there we go. Arrow Brewer, yeah, cheers, man. Mad Jack 815, Happy New Year's Eve from Northern California. Wishing you health, happiness, and a great New Year's. Looking forward to new adventures. Cheers, man. All the way from Northern California. I got to get back out to California. What, it's been two, two or three years now? Two years? Yeah, man. Like, I don't want to get on the bummer, but like not hit like the truck blowing up really screwed my whole summer up. Uh, I was definitely supposed to be out in that area, but. James, yeah, I just, I don't know. We might start using some of the stuff, but like it's, it's. Some of these companies, like, they, they require you to have, like, X amount of minutes dedicated to you, like, just standing there talking about their product and trying to sell it. That ain't going to happen. Like, I'm not that guy. Uh, but some of these companies, if they just wanted me to, hey, man, just use it. Like, just do your thing. You don't even have to tell them what it is. Just use it. Like, that's more my vibe. So, Yeah. Jay Wallace, we'll get on the East Coast soon. 2024, the year of the not suck. We're gonna we're gonna knock it out. That's funny, but I can't I can't be self-deprecating. Thea, yeah, I've camped all over Minnesota. I've slept on the street in Minneapolis with the homie Travis. Although that video got age, I think it got age restricted and like advertiser restricted because we lit some fireworks off in the middle of the street. YouTube didn't appreciate that. Vienna sausage sponsorship. <laughs> Dude, a, a food sponsorship? There And there's like HelloFresh. I could probably get something like that going on. Food sponsorship would be cool. A gas sponsorship would really be really cool. Like to get in with like Casey's gas station or something would be rad. Like I'll eat your pizza in every video. <laughs> like just pay for my gas or whatever. But 
Uh, there'd be some cool sponsorships, but yeah. Spam sponsorship. Cletus and Cars, Luke Albertson. We're gonna we're hundred percent gonna get to a Cletus event. Like we will we will attend at least one Cletus event in 2024. Like it's gonna happen. Um definitely want to get down there, support the home, you know, the the local hero. Cletus is he he's a local dude. He grew up here in Nebraska, so to I, I everything he's doing is amazing. The team that he's got going on down there is amazing. Like, yeah, we'll get down to Florida. Hell yeah, brother! You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. Rex fifty one fifty a dude wipe sponsor. I mean that one wouldn't suck, but a lot of them are junk. Like. To be honest, a lot of the spot like, and obviously you can counter offer them, but they're like, we'll we'll just give you this thing for free, but you need to do a five minute ad, and then we'll sell thirty thousand dollars worth of product, and you can just have this one thing that's like two hundred bucks. Cool, man. You cool with that? You good with that? Is that what you want? Like, eat a dick. I'm good on that. Travis Orton, one ninety nine. <laughs> Cheers, Travis. Hopeless forever, forever homeless. I, you got to come here, dude. You haven't been back this way in a while. Britt Farms 2018. What's the farthest eastern state you have camped in? Uh, camped. Probably Illinois. I was going to say, didn't you say Indiana, Ohio growing up? Well, yeah, well, on... Growing up, I went to like Ohio and Indiana. We kind of talked about that on a few live streams, but like as far as video goes, I think Illinois is probably the farthest because I, I came down from hanging out with Travis and I went into Illinois. And there's so there's a video from Illinois, uh, like one video. And that's probably as far east as I've been. I've done some stuff in Missouri, um, but that's probably about it. No, we're going to get. We're gonna get that direction. We've been, we've been to the West Coast. We've been to like California and stuff. We haven't been to the uh, Northwest, so we need to get up there and like need to get back to Montana because that's the first place we truck camped in. Well, we've been to Northwest. We just haven't camped. No, we've never camped up there. Uh, but the first trip that my wife and I took with the truck when we put the camper on the old Silverado in 2015 was uh, Glacier National Park in Montana. So I want to get back up there. Um, but yeah, 2024, man, year of the not suck. I got to pee y'all. We got some more packages down here too. So stay tuned. Did it scare me? I tried. I tried. Steve C. Cheers, Steve C. You would head to my college state of West Virginia. Beautiful spots camping there. Uh, West Virginia does sound like a great place to camp at. 
I heard you're not supposed to do much speeding around there, though. I kind of feel like I need a field notes over here because I'm always filling up these little things and then uh, let you just. Do you have some? No. Oh. Karen H., how did the two of you meet? That is not a story you guys are ready for. We'll we'll wait till a million because she said if if and when we hit a million subscribers that she would come out and be on a video. So if that's the case, we'll tell you the story then and she can tell it. Because I usually have to tell it because she doesn't like the story being told. But if I'm at a million... I do That's not. Funny. I definitely do not. I definitely, definitely. do not. Oh, uh, Travis, we met on Grinder. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, oh, that's great. No, but that's definitely a story that Lady Quady has to tell. No, I need a field. I no, I need. You can. A I don't want that. that. No, I need a field note. So we'll just get me a field. One. I'll buy one. I, was gonna get you something now. I don't need that right now. I'm trying to be nice. It's even porcupines. You like weird animals. There's no porcupines on there. They're just like, oh, I guess it's kind of a porcupine. Whack. Rock City Park, Ocean, New York. Jenny Hackworth, the most embarrassing moment I've ever experienced? I don't know. I have no idea. I can't say I can't say that I really get that embarrassed very easily. So this this is from my cousin out in California. My cousin Christine from north of San Francisco. My cousin Christine took me to see Beavis and Butthead do America when it was in movie theaters. Uh, yeah, surprisingly, I was allowed to see that in the theater. And that was like, because they were back for Christmas, because they came out around Christmas, I think, in like 95. Uh, so, for my cousin Christine in California, we've got some stuff in here. All right, let's pop open this letter. Is she on here? I don't know if she'd be watching. Mike, we hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We love watching you on the YouTubes. We hope you can come out to Cali soon. We'd love to see you. Your cousin Chris, not your cousin David and Kennedy. David, her... Yeah, he's funny. Oh, it's from one of their local breweries. A bunch of stuff from one of their local breweries. We got to get back out there. And I think I've said the name wrong on a few of the videos. Lagunitas, maybe? But there's a brewery out there. Although I don't think that's exactly where they live at. It's not. No, I don't, I don't. It isn't. Not the same town. Not the same town, no. But the hat's jamming too. I like the hat just with the dog on there. That's rad. And of course we've got a koozie. And a rad sticker. And I think this is all just saying that I need a dog. Everybody's asking, when are you going to get a dog? Might be not might might be somebody else over there not wanting a dog. Trey's Berta, cheers! Thank you for the donation. 
Yeah, we got to get back out there. My wife has met Chris. Well, they, and they've been back here for... Oh, they were back from my brother's wedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saw them then. But we've been out there, and we saw them in California, but that was... What year was that? 14, I think. 2014. We went to Born Free. That was the same year I went to Born Free in California. Born Free 6. Uh, thank you, Chris. And not my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah where's he from like scott i'm gonna say it wrong and offend him uh and i i'm gonna say her mans because i don't know if they're married or not <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to speak on that but i think he's from scotland dude glasgow Yeah. Anyways, yeah, we got to get back out to Cali. We didn't see him on the last trip that we were out there. No, we were. We were farther south. Yeah. Jim G. Burning Man would be rad, dude. I'd go to Burning Man, but I almost feel like I don't want to go to Burning Man by myself. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, you can hang out with, you know, there's a lot of other people down there or whatever, but. I don't, I, yeah, I'd rather take some buddies with me or something like that. Oteca, Oscar, give Oscar some pets for me. Aaron Sandker, the van trip to the parking lot and the campfire was awesome. Glad you enjoyed that one. That was a fun one. Simon Woodings, cheers. Thank you for the donation. Happy New Year and keep up the good work. Watch all your videos here in the UK. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Amy Johnston. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I'd go to a New Year's party at this point. Maybe. I mean, I wouldn't say, I want to say never because there could be some rad parties you get invited to, but like. Are you saying it's on a party at Greg's house? <laughs> that's, well. <laughs> He's got three young children. It's definitely not a party. Uh, but like a lot of that, that kind of stuff, like I'm good. Like I'll be there for two hours and I'm like, all right, I'm good. I just want to go home. There's a way too many people here. It's too wild or whatever. So yeah. Deborah Lady Q needs a present. Tender one. No. <laughs> They don't anything. Greg's offended, I think. She like puppies. Oh, is Greg in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> Greg, it's not that it's not a party, but it's a different kind it's of a party. different <laughs> vibe, that's for sure. But let's face it, it's our vibe. <laughs> it is pretty laid back vibe. But I can't chain smoke in front of your kids. <laughs> that's uh well, if it's an indoor party, most people aren't going to want to. No, no, I guess it's anything. cold enough out here, anyways, that we wouldn't. I wouldn't be chain smoking. Travis gig, Greg got stared straight. No, Greg has been straight. Deborah, what's her favorite color? What is your favorite color? It depends on what it is. We both wear like it's funny. I do. I wear a lot of gray. We I, I, we will go out. We'll we'll get dress. You know, we'll get ready to go somewhere. Like we're gonna go out. We we'll do some shopping or whatever. We're both in jeans and a gray hoodie. Like what I was in at the beginning of this. Jeans, gray, and black hoodies. Like we wear that. Gray. I don't wear much. She doesn't wear a lot of black. Gray. Yeah. I wear a lot of gray. But I she's got. Gray. She's like she's wearing I some like fuzzy gray. like furry hoodie now. Yeah, I don't even like, know what you would call that. It's just a pullover. A pullover. Yeah, I guess pullover. it's not a hoodie. A Columbia pullover. Um, I like. She's got this rust-colored shirt that she wears that I think looks like poo, and I don't okay, like it. If there are women watching, do you believe that like rust-colored is something that someone would wear in the fall? And would you say that rust is the same color as baby poop? Same thing, dude. Let's get, let's I don't get like opinions. that shirt. Don't like it. 
Greg says they're still up watching you. They're not even in bed yet. Greg, you could have came over for a while. I guess he's, you know, he didn't want to leave the kids or whatever. Rust is a fall color. Gary agrees with you. Next. Yeah, baby poo equal rust. Rex fifty one fifty. Like I don't like that. She. I don't know if it's a shirt. It's a and, shirt. And Greg, does does the color of rust look like the color of baby poop? I told him he needs to see more baby poop because if baby poop is rust color, there's probably a problem with the baby. Blech. Take him to the doctor. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, like I'm not a huge fan of brown wearing it's, brown. it's brown. It's, it's the, not that's brown. it's brown. It's more red than brown. Bloody brown. Bloody Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, Andrew, baby poop comes in multiple colors. He knows what's up. Uh. Yeah, yeah, well, Gary says for ladies, rust red Rust, blue, red, and purple. I just don't like rust. Like, like the brown, like, not all browns are terrible to wear, but I, I don't like that shirt at all. It's not brown. It's brown. It's in the laundry, or I'd bring it and they could look at it, but. <laughs> she needs a whole baby poo full lineup. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that's great. The point of this was to tell him that he's wrong, people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I, I don't think it's a good color. I just, it's not to wear around, like. Like, there's brown jackets and brown clothing, but, like, it's just a wrong brown. I don't know. It's not brown. It's more red than anything. It's not good. Uh, Becky says it does not look like baby poop. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the color. Like, it's almost... No, this no, is purple. Like, that's purple. It's lighter than that. <laughs> Linda Rainey says, dang, take that kid to the hospital. <laughs> of course they're going to get all the women to agree with you in here. Uh, Whack. Baby poop is mustardy. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> we got a little bit of that spicy Dijon on there for you. <laughs> Uh, uh, gross. <laughs> Shotgun. What time is it? 1037? Mm -hmm. <sighs> We've made it this far. I think we have to go to midnight at this point. Some of you guys might be hitting, well, I know a lot of you guys have already hit New Year's, but uh, it's 1037, so you're coming up on New Year's in like, what is that time zone? East, Eastern, Eastern, Eastern Central or Eastern Time? Eastern, Eastern Time. So just like past Chicago. Chicago is Eastern. No, past, Chicago Central. Chicago Central. I think it's I think it's like I think it spits splits the Great Lakes right there. I don't know where. Yeah, James, eleven thirty eight there. Tell you what, we'll, sh we'll shotgun a beer. Raging Tiger, what is it? Should have just robbed Kevin of one of his field notes. I'm like, Kevin just texted me now. Under this is my region. this is my field notes now. <laughs> All right, I have three more packages down there to open. Crushed it. It's Wednesday here. <laughs> You're definite, definitely on a different plane of existence than me. Uh, that's not what we're on tonight. <laughs> Shotgun. 
Shotgun the purple gin. Oh, no. Like, I don't need to take another shot. There's a whole bottle of Fireball upstairs that I'm – that I literally – there's a whole bottle of Fireball upstairs from the ice fishing trip last year that was never opened. Joey Turner, 439 in the U.K., Yeah. We'll uh we'll give this one a shotgun. Aro Brewer, we'll make it. We'll do it till midnight. <laughs> My wife's like, oh, you don't have to stay down here the whole time and keep me company. Jim G Bigfoot story? No Bigfoot story. Like the video that we filmed at the Bigfoot Museum. That's it. All right. Anybody out there going to shotgun a beer? Aro, he's with me. Who else is with me? If you're gonna shotgun Travis, you better Travis, you better be shotgunning a white claw out there. There's more fireworks going off outside. All right. Cheers, y'all. Ah. 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 <sighs> Shotgun your glass of milk out there, Chancellor. Whatever's clever, whatever you want to drink. Whoo, that was... Uh, 15 more minutes in Florida. Yeah, you're getting close. You got to do something cool. Do something cool at midnight. I got to go pee. He's kind of a brat. Celebrate the fact that I congratulations, you peed. <laughs> uh... Oh, y'all, tell you what, another year on this planet of nonsense. <sighs> it's a wild existence we live in, y'all. Wild existence. Did I wash my hands? All right. So this is... This is an Amazon package. And you can see what it is on the outside. It's an induction cooktop. So... I don't know what video it was where 
we talked about uh you know having a plug-in like a single burner and then the i think it was the next video i went and bought just a single burner from walmart well and then this showed up in the p.o box uh but what i bought was just a, a regular cook like a regular cooktop it wasn't an induction burner so this one is probably going to be nicer Watching you in the middle of the night where they're at. <laughs> yeah, y'all that are out there and it's like four in the morning, you guys rock. I have a feeling this is going to be way nicer. <laughs> way nicer than the $14 cooktop I bought. Wonder if I could. No, I don't have the box anymore. I was going to say, I wonder if I could return it. Oh yeah, I think you can. Yeah, I think you can actually set the temperature on here. All right, I'm not gonna pull these stickers off. More fireworks outside. Like I, I almost feel like I need to finagle this whole bit outside and light up fireworks. We might like stick around, folks. We might get belligerent, and we might end up outside lighting off fireworks uh, at midnight in an hour and 15 minutes so Greg, you want to bring the kids in for fireworks yeah greg if you want to come over and light fireworks so i don't kill myself with them come on over uh but we've got a it's an induction cooktop look at that that's fancy that is fancy program timer wattage different heat levels Sear, pause, clear, Pre precision induction cooktop. So we're going to have to make sure that we have the proper pans because I think you have to have a specific, like you can't just use regular pans on these, can you? I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to look. We'll have to look. 1300 watts of pure cooking power right here it is bussing that is for sure robbie it's bussing uh but yeah that's pretty rad y'all it's definitely nicer than the 14 dollars walmart one that i bought all right uh but there's no oh yeah no there's no there was no note or anything in here so I don't know who set this. It came from Amazon, I think. Yeah, Amazon Fulfillment. Someone said you should take a, get a pizza and do it on the grill, like on over the fire, and then put all the fixings on it for a taco pizza. Like turn a hamburger pizza and do a taco pizza. Never turn a hamburger pizza into a taco pizza. But doesn't sound terrible. I mean, I've done pizza on the fire, fire pit. Yeah, but take like diced tomatoes and refried beans and like all the, the taco stuff. I could try it, I guess. That would be simpler yeah, than... You like taco pizza. Yeah. Might have to give that a shot. April, you're welcome. Thank you, April, if you're the one that sent that in. Appreciate it. fancy uh, she said just kidding oh. <laughs> well whoever sent that in I appreciate it because it, it does look very nice yeah new wave PLC flex or pick flex I don't know That will definitely get the rundown in the back of the van in the truck, that's for sure. Dad says if the bottoms of the pans will attract a magnet, you are good. 
So the pans have to be magnetic to work on a induction cooktop? Huh. Oh, Gray says you can't drive. Can Tara drive? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't drive right now either. <laughs> uh. If Gray can't drive, I don't know if Tara could either. <laughs> We got dose packages left down there. Boy, I don't know if I'll make it till midnight. I'm out of beer down here. There's more beers upstairs, but the missus would have to go up there. I guess we could bust out the champagne. We got to wait till midnight probably for this, though, huh? Tell you what, I'm going to drink some water. <laughs> We'll have a chug it. I'm not chugging the wine or the time to shotgun another beer. Let me have a little bit of water and we'll crack another one open. Fireball. Man, you guys are rough. Jackhammer the drinks pee. Travis is probably, he sounds like he's pretty far gone at this point. Cast iron skillets work great on induction. I'll have to give it a shot. We might use that. Well, I don't know. I got I got an idea for the next one. I don't know. We'll see. T, 10 minutes till midnight. See, we're an hour and 10 minutes here. RV, when do you expect to head back to the Pacific Northwest? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it was very pretty, though. Yeah, I mean we've I, we have family out there too. Uh, oh, in Oregon. Yeah, we've got family in Oregon. I've been like I've driven, I've drove to Oregon, but it's been a long time. How long ago was that? That was like 2009. You had your Accord then, so after oh, 08. When we drove the, yeah, when we drove, it was 2008. It was 2009. Eight or nine. It was 2009. Oh, Larry was sick, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, R.O., yeah, he might be. Old Greg had more than two sips. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. No, the dude's 765. It's, it's 1052 here. So I'll celebrate with you. I guess I guess 11 o'clock, I should probably shotgun another beer. Do you still want to be walking at midnight? I <laughs> guess that didn't work. <laughs> I'll have to go up and get my other beers I myself. Oh. I just met. Like, do you still want to be up right at midnight? I'll be fine. Shotgun and Coors. Coors ain't doing nothing. That's that's like Rocky Mountain piss water, but it's very tasty. <laughs> we should have got more noise makers. Uh, Party City was a little cleaned out. Oh yeah, yeah. I went to Party City and bought this this Happy New Year's thing that's right there, and then over here the little drinks thing. There was another one. What did the other one have on it? What the other little dangle banner i oh, think it was just like stars, stars. there was yeah. another one with stars on it uh what else like oh yeah we got the i got the little poppers i got three poppers left the hats and those balls oh yeah the balls which those are just like paper things they're like mesh mesh things <laughs> and then these and that was it like I went to Party City to buy, like, I was going to buy, like, a disco ball and some cool stuff, and I wanted some glasses that said 2024, and, dude, it was a shit show, and it was, like, 90% sold out. Shouldn't have waited till today to try to buy that stuff, but. This will go for five minutes. 
yeah. We gotta. We got. It's ten fifty four. Well, you got. I got. I need another beer before eleven, so I can shotgun with these guys. But we're gonna we're gonna shotgun this beer or shotgun this water really quick. Yeah, three hours in Cali. I can't do it that long. Ah. Yeah, you don't have to be drinking. You can you can have water. You can do whatever you want. Dangle nuggets. Some of y'all, I tell you what. We still got a couple of packages down there to open, but we'll leave those for the next hour. Limitless Media, five minutes, yeah. Coming up on it. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of you guys hitting midnight here. I hope, you know, all of you guys that are about to, you're, you're almost going to be in 2024 because of these time zones that we decided about a while ago. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys all have a, a rad 2024. Like, for real. Do cool, st- like, just spend your time trying to do cool stuff and all that, you know. Yeah, East Coast time. Jay Wallace from Virginia. What's up, Jay? Frogs, fish, and more. Has Lady Queen finished her cider? She is still sipping on it. She might finish that. Well, let's be honest. I sip, sip on a Dr. Pepper all afternoon. Yeah. Like, I just sip on drinks anyway. Yeah, she doesn't drink anything very fast. All right. <laughs> She's like one of those while you're at it, sir. We got dose more beers. Well, we might have to have one more later here, but She's popping me. Put that in the cooler. I guess we have we've got champagne for our midnight here. So we definitely got to slow down. I have I'll shotgun with you guys one at 11, so the guys that are hitting midnight, and then we've got one to sip on, but purple gin shot, Lady Q, you want to take a purple gin shot? No, I'm good. Yeah. Midnight shotgun for all y'all. What What is that time zone? Not We're in Central. Eastern, Eastern time. I'll shotgun with you Eastern time, folks. <laughs> Jesse, is Travis being deli- belligerent in the chat here? Probably. Eastern Standard Time, is that what it is? Maybe, yeah. You're wrong. You're, is that what you said? Yeah, Oh, maybe. Three minutes. We're getting there. So the ball is probably dropping in New York now. Like I can't show you. I probably can't show that to you guys. But. Yeah. Happy New Year Eastern time folks. Three minutes to go in Cincinnati. Yeah. You guys are about to hit it. New Year's is actually four months away. I don't believe that. At all. Uh. I would say if if you were going to ask me when the new year and the old year started and ended, it would be at uh, the solstices. Like, you go from the days getting shorter to the days getting longer. That is the beginning of their new year. So it's like on the 21st. Uh, that's, to me, really, that's the beginning of the new year. I'm not a whole, I don't know, free Travis. <laughs> 11.58, two minutes in New York, you're watching it. Two minutes in Virginia. While we wait, we hydrate. Yes, a little bit of water go down with it. New Year's, biblically speaking, is March, April 2024. Yeah, see, that seems weird to me, like... The end of the year is when the days are the shortest, and as soon as the days starting get start to get longer, that's the new year. 
you know, Christmas and all that is just made up nonsense, in my opinion. That's my opinion. I think there's a lot. There's a lot of truth in the Bible, but there's a whole lot of in there that's not for me. My wife's giving me the bombastic side eye, like, you better watch your mouth over there. Somebody's not going to like it. We can all believe what we want to believe. Um, I think there's a lot of history in the Bible, but there's also a lot of nonsense. Uh, but that's in any any history book that you look at. 11 o'clock. Oh, happy new year's y'all. Happy new year. Let's, uh, there's a bunch of fireworks. Everybody around here is a year ahead, an hour ahead. All right. Cheers y'all. Happy 2024. Ah, ah. I guess I shouldn't say that. Uh, happy 2024 to all you East Coast folks. <clears throat> We're still stuck an hour behind you due to these imaginary lines. We might we might go outside for a firework, though. If I can finagle all this outside, uh, we might we might go outside and light out a firework or something. We could probably make that happen, couldn't we? I think we can make that happen. Here's one for y'all. Oh, that's my last one. I guess then we have to go outside if I blang this. I still have one. Oh, my wife has one left. It's smoking. It smells good. Happy New Year, y'all. Y'all on the East Coast. Oh, that was rough. That was rough. A little bit left in there. I was going to say something, and someone in here just somewhat recently said they're the ones who got you the... Chase Adams. Cheers, Chase. They're the ones who got you the glass cooked up. Michael King. Michael King. I'm the one who sent you the cooktop. Enjoy cast iron pans. Work great. Cast iron on there. Well, I appreciate it. It looks very fancy. Way better than the one that I bought from Walmart. Jesse, cheers, Jesse. We're gonna we're gonna finish sipping on our water <laughs> for the time being. Uh, definitely had a few. New York, New York, Vermont, West Coast, Oregon. Yeah, you guys got a little bit longer. All right, let's open let's open another package. Kevin was gonna jump on too. Yeah, he told him you were talking about stealing his field notes. Mm. There's still fireworks going off outside. We're gonna we're just gonna have to we're gonna light fireworks by the end of this. If you guys stay tuned, we'll light fireworks. We'll go outside and blast something off, maybe in the backyard. I don't know. We can go out front, but all right, this is an Amazon one. Yeah, Amazon package. Oh, look at that. We got a box in a box. Probably should have looked for notes in there, but. Oh, this is for the, it's, this is for the cooker. Where did that go? Where did I put it? Yeah, so this looks like it's a. It's a bag that you put the, uh, you can put that cooker in, the burner. Travis, cheers. Uh, where'd that go? It 
So this must be a really fancy one. Yeah, that's a travel bag for the cooker. Yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. Is that the box? Did that come in the box that said one of two? No, I That's rad. Zippered pouch for my my cooking burner there. With a carrying strap. Like that's rad. That's definitely going to have a uh, a spot living in the rig for sure. That's cool. Well, thank you for that. And I, I'm still excited because that's fancy, dude. Like, I don't know what y'all are running, but for a single burner, like if you know a college kid, buy him this. If it's legal to have in their dorm room, I guess. Could you guys have hot plates in your dorm room? I don't know, so I'm saying that. Yeah. College kids are kind of dumb. All right, let's get this shoved down in there. It might have been the box two of two that we were talking about. I feel like I have to pee again already. Travis Quady, 2024. Travis, oh my God. Travis is such a good dude, though. All right, I'm gonna put me in a dip of teriyaki Jack Links. You wanna dip? You don't wanna dip? You ain't about that life? I don't know if I can do the whole, I can't do that. Where the guys like tap it, I can't do that. Quady hot sauce. We can probably do that. Start a van club. I'm not that cool. Probably could do it, I guess, maybe. Man, I remember getting this stuff when I was younger. You never did this? It looks like chew. She don't know what's good sometimes, I tell you what. You gotta get a big old, you gotta get a big old, no, put it on there and you're like, oh. Boy, tell you what, she's laughing at me. It tastes, it tastes so good though. It's, it's like, it's shredded beef jerky in your lip. Sup, y'all. Sup. And you can gut bomb the whole thing and you aren't going to feel bad. But I got to pee again. Greg said to pack it in like a man. Pack it in like a man, Greg. You ain't over here.
What can I have mom? So many things you're puking. No puking, no. <laughs> and then we tripped up on boxes. <laughs> if you guys only knew the amount of boxes down here, oh my god. Puking. I still got my full full lip and dip in there. No. Oh. I got junk all over my my sweet sheet on the top of my plastic table. Yeah, dude, that stuff's good. It's getting, considering I think a lot of places, can they even sell candy cigarettes anymore? Yeah, I feel like I've seen mm. them. Like in retro candy stores or whatever. Mm. I mean, in reality, if you were trying to get off of tobacco dip, you could definitely do this. Like I just ate it out of, I just swallowed all of it because it's good. But you can put this in there in your lip, and it does taste taste good. And you can swallow all of it; and it's not going to be bad. And then you get a little bit of jerky, like. But if you're trying to get off the dip, this could definitely help you. All right. Eleven, uh, eleven. Oh man. I don't know if I can make it another 45, 50 minutes. We're going to have to figure out our getting all this nonsense outside to do a, a fireworks shot. Let me go grab my fireworks, actually. It's all fireworks. Probably nothing too fancy. She's like, you can't do them all. You can't do them all. So we've got a bunch of artillery shells. And then... Some uh, little things. Midnight Madness, Color Pearl, Mega Thunder. Oh. But the missus would appreciate if I didn't do all of them. Yeah, I bought these for 4th of July, but a lot of our places around here are open this time of year so that you can buy this stuff and do it at midnight. I haven't actually seen any of this year. No? Uh, have you? I haven't. Well, last year I went to the, like, the Wild Willies or whatever. Mm -hmm. You could pray it. Well, maybe they weren't open. I don't know. It, I don't everywhere know. was selling them last year. Yeah. I don't know. I'm lighting, we're, we're lighting some off at midnight. Or maybe before that. What are you laughing at, Travis? No. Don't come on later. Who are you guys? You guys are all just talking nonsense to each other in the comments, aren't you? Mighty was the rust colored. What? The fireworks. Oh, the fire. Yeah, there's probably a rust colored fireworks on there. We have, like, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's legal right now. What? Fireworks. It's yeah, legal tonight. I think it is. I think it is. Purple gin shot. Ugh. Should I do it? <laughs> do whatever you want. That's the one kick-ass, well, the one, 
one of the kick-ass things about my wife is most of the time she's like, you can do what you want. You're going to fuck your own shit up if you mess up. Like, have, have at it, man. Figure it out. She's not over there telling me, like, you can't go do this. You got to yeah, do like this. The reason I'm thinking about fireworks is because that much fireworks. Yeah, we shouldn't do all of them. It, it'll take like 20 minutes. Yeah, to no, it no. You got to set it all up. And so. No, if we had more tubes and it was set up, we could, we can, we could blast all of those, but we'll, we'll, you guys got to hang out for 45 more minutes. We're going to light some fireworks. Only sparkling fireworks here in Virginia. Well, yeah, but like I heard in Virginia, you can't speed. Like around here, you can go five to 10 miles an hour over everywhere you want to go. But I heard in Virginia, like it's you go the speed limit or you're getting busted. Well, in the Daywalker 402, it depends on that's, where that's you're at. A, that's Kyle from All Dogs. It depends on where you're at, though. Not every city has adopted that ordinance. Yeah, yeah. That's Kyle. Daywalker 402 is Kyle from All Dogs. Okay. Which I got to hit you up maybe tomorrow or uh, I'll probably hit you up. The wheels are showing delivered, but it's showing delivered in Shelby, Iowa. So I'm slightly worried that they got jacked. We'll just see what happens. Michelle Skelly, two ninety nine. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Shot. She says shot. Fuck. Purple gin. Are you gonna go get it? Or are you gonna talk to him I while I go? That's the only thing that we have. I got fireball up there, and like, I think there's Jim Beam too. Before we get into a shot, we got to eat some candy. So my wife made a bunch of Christmas candy. And this is one of her, I don't know who, who came up with the recipe. Well, it's, it's not like it's our family. It was Sherry that uh, first made it in our family. I don't know what this is. This is like a, it's like crack. It's really good. <laughs> Uh, what is it? The bottom layer is uh, graham crackers, and you make like a sugar marshmallow thing that you bake on top, and then you melt uh, chocolate on top of that. And it's supposed to be toffee or nuts on top, but I didn't have any of that, so I used crushed up graham crackers on top. That's very good. I got a whole thing of fudge upstairs. Cherry Bing bars. All right. We'll do a shot, y'all. Of the fancy gin that Kevin left at the house. Indigo gin. Kind of hard to see the color on here, honestly. Purple. Purple gin, indigo gin. Well, I guess indigo is kind of purple bluey. This is not not mine. I'm not a gin guy, but Travis, we're not boofing the gin. Uh, we are definitely not chugging the gin, but we will do a small shot of the gin. Uh, it's good gin. Like this is a. It, it, I think it's a kind of a fancy gin, so for me to be shooting it, may, maybe a little bit over the top, but <laughs> April Province, what is a boof? You can Google that. I don't know if you want to. 
but this is known by everyone as the boof cup uh for whatever reason somebody sent that in uh but yeah you can go ahead and google what boofing is <laughs> i'm not gonna talk about it it's kind of a running joke tell the boof story <laughs> Got a cork. I shot a purple gin. She's like, no. Are you halfway through that cider? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. I can't even get I her tipsy. I've had this kind before, but I don't think I have. I'm curious what the pumpkin one tastes like. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. I'm just not a hard liquor person, boy. Yeah. Is Kevin in the chat? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. So the homie Kevin brought this over to the house and he was, he was just here actually for Christmas. Uh, I don't know if he's in the chat. Yeah. Empress 1908 Indio Indigo gin. It's good stuff. It's rough, but uh, I have everything here. What, what is that? What's gin and, gin and tonic. It's just tonic oh, I have gin and tonic stuff here. I've got fancy tonic too, but yeah, it's good stuff. I'll put it, I'll put it to you like that. Nancy, yes, I've definitely got a buzz going. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, I don't know if it's the wisest thing to give you fire. Oh yes, yeah, so we're gonna blow stuff up later too, ladies and gents. Milk. <laughs> no, we'll just have some uh some of this. Oh. Yeah, Kevin is there. Cheers, Kevin. A Londoner friend swears the best gin and tonic is indigo and fever tree tonic. Kevin Eisman in the chat. He's the one that's left this out at my house. Cheers, Kevin. I know you got a couple hours. I'm going to make it that long. But we're here. And Lady Quady is actually sipping on a cider. should have stayed you'd be an hour ahead you wouldn't have to even make it till midnight pacific time no you'd be two hours ahead yeah y'all i don't know if you can hear my wife but christmas so we're a couple hours south and then christmas where our families were at was a couple hours north and there was supposed to be a blizzard up there so basically everything got uh postponed our christmas got postponed till next weekend is that right yeah, so like our Christmas is being celebrated next weekend, and Kevin's was supposed to be celebrated next weekend, no, but yesterday. yesterday, but he lives way far away, so uh, yeah, I still have family Christmas next weekend. So don't eat all the Christmas candy. I'm still <laughs> eating the Christmas candy, yes. She's like, we got to take some of that with us, but it's so good. Like, we had a couple of these that were basically full. <laughs> I probably gained five pounds in this nonsense already. Oh. Uh, she's giving me bombastic side eye. Uh, do I miss the Chevy sometimes? Yes, I do. One. It's a smaller truck. It's kind of fun. It's kind of nice to have a smaller vehicle. Uh, it's simpler, but the Ford has twice the power, and it's so much more comfortable to drive around in. Uh, the ten-speed transmission, as opposed to the four-speed that was in the Chevy, it's light years ahead of it. Uh, the Ford is really nice. I don't. 
I don't have a shit ton of faith in the electronics lasting as long as they have in the Chevy. Just because there's a lot more nonsense that's going on in there, but it just is what it is. Metalhead Madman. What's up, Quady? Cheers, man. Happy New Year's. Uh, we just got to hydrate a little bit. <laughs> April Province, White Russians are great. Vicky, there's supposed to be a big storm next weekend. I haven't looked that far ahead, but we could definitely use some snow. Well, if it's next weekend, then I'll be at Christmas and it won't matter. Uh, I do have family stuff that I have to do outside of like YouTube, not so I can't film every single day, which is why, like, Christmas Day, it was snowing here. And even though our our family Christmas got kind of postponed, I spent the Christmas at home with my wife. And I wasn't going to go out and camp and leave her at home by herself, you know, even though we were getting snow here that day. Although I did tell him he could. But I wasn't going to do that. I spent Christmas at home with my wife, sitting yeah. on the couch. We watched some movies. Did some nonsense and we watched we watched the Barbie movie. We watched the Barbie movie. Yeah, we read the Barbie movie. I watched the Barbie movie on Christmas. I don't gotta tell you. A little behind the times. It was terrible. I am, it wasn't terrible. Like it was just weird. It was different than I thought it was. It was yes. It was way more I don't want to say political, but it was way more like just like on a completely different tangent than I felt that movie was going to be on. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I've seen the Barbie movie. Uh, it, it wasn't bad. And uh, Homeboy in there, like I think he was pretty funny. I think it was a good movie. Um, oh, what, Gosling? Gosling, yeah. Hasn't, what's her, hasn't... Uh, Bella met Gosling. Didn't she meet him? Because she was like babysitting for yeah. his cousins or like somebody's kids that was with him. My cousin met Ryan Gosling. No, I think he not had a, a is this I a cousin? A, no, I think he had a no. She's kid a, she's niece. Kid. I think he had a kid that went to one of like his dance, kids. Yes, a dance studio where the girl she was babysitting went to. Yeah. Yeah. I have a connection to Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wouldn't that be wild just to meet him and shake his hand? But I, I, a lot of people out here are probably like, wouldn't it be cool to meet Crazy Quady? I'm just your average idiot. And Ryan Gosling's out there like, bro, like, why the fuck do you want to shake my hand? <laughs> like, it's probably the same, same nonsense. Travis should start his own channel. He talks about it every time I meet him, but he's too much of a goof to actually do it. Mmm, pizza sounds tasty right now. 11.28. We probably got to get started on, like, figuring out. I got a, I got a camera that's attached with a cord to my laptop that we got to move all this stuff outside in order to light off fireworks. But we're going to do it. We're going to make it happen. I try not to show you my entirely messy basement. <laughs> oh, maybe I should show that to you guys. Maybe I should. Maybe you'll get to see my, uh, the shit show that is right here off camera. Old camera zoom in noise. 622 out there watching, 639 likes. If you guys are just tuning in, Hit the like button. It'd be a whole lot cooler if you did. We can twirl the nonsense. Definitely not a disco ball, but pretty close. Uh, and thanks to all you guys that are out there watching because we got that, which is a lot of nonsense, but it's really cool nonsense. We got one more package to open. Why don't we get to that? I'm 
And this one's heavy. Oh, yeah, this one's heavy. <clears throat> Is there a weight on here? Curious what the weight of this is because it's got to be like 15 pounds. Well, there's no weight on this. <clears throat> so, this is the Amazon package. This is the last package of the night. And uh, see what this is all about. I think at this point, this is the li longest live stream I've ever done. All right, we've got something in a gift bag. That's a big one. It's heavy. Easily 10 pounds. He's eyeballing me like that. I'm not eyeballing you. I'm just looking at you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I sent you a lot of hot stuff. Doomed hot sauce that about killed you. I was going to say this is from Eric. Uh, hot gum. He was the one that sent the hot gum in also. Uh, to celebrate your 100K, I thought you'd send something even hotter that hopefully you enjoy. How is there something hotter? And it's big. It's huge. And it was heavy? It, this is... Come over here and tell me how much you think that weighs. A what? Hotter. Oh, a heater. Way. Maybe it's a heater. Yeah, know. maybe you're right. I don't know. Uh. That bag, though. I like that bag. <laughs> My wife is stealing the bag. So there's a little tag right here that I just tore in half. Oh, it's the same thing that it says on the note. It might be a space heater. I that might know. be right. Like, that sounds right. I don't know. It's just a play on words. Hotter. Yeah. Like, this can't be hot sauce. Oh, Jesus. If it's hot sauce, my... Oh. He's the one that sent the thing in that you threw up on? And the gum. And the hottest sauce that I tried in the video. Mm -hmm. Eric S. big and it's heavy media you're like save the bag i want the bag it's nice it is very Those nice those amazon bags are nice they're sick they are they're they're nice bags yes that's some sort of heater Yeah, I, the, I definitely want to want to pick that up. It's got to be a heater, right? Yeah, outdoor heat. Oh, I think we looked at one of these. Is it the one that you can see the fire? I think so. Ignit fire can portable fire pit, safe, easy, packable campfire. So this isn't. Uh, we looked at some gas ones. This isn't gas. But it's like a, it looks like an ammo can. Yeah, that's heavy. It's like, that's, that's easy 10 to 15 pounds. Never heard of this brand before. So there are some that, that kind of look similar to this that uh, are, are like a, it's almost like a power box. But this is completely different.
got legs on it. This is fancy, dude. This is fancy as hell. Air. Oh, no, that is gas. That is propane. That's awesome. My wife has wanted a propane fire pit to put on our deck for so long. We could probably... What is the front look like? Propane goes in here, and there's your fire. It's, it's going to be all around. So you could probably... I don't, it wasn't like, I've never seen this brand. So there's a, I'm not going to pull the little rubber nipple off there, but there's propane hookup right there. And, uh, somehow, yeah, it's all right. So this turns into a propane fire pit somehow. Like it's, we'll have to, yeah, here's your propane cord. This is rad. Uh, and there's a burner in here and some instructions and stuff. Stoked on that. Yeah, look at that burner. So you can run this. Look at that burner in there. So stuff like this, you can typically run in like Colorado when they have a fire ban because it's not a campfire. It has that handle. Yeah. Yeah. And like once you get done burning it, you can put your, your cord back in or close it up. And it's just like a, like I feel like, I feel like this should bend over more, but maybe you can run it with the lid closed. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool, dude. I've never heard of that brand, I don't think. But we'll have to give that a whirl. Yeah, digging that. Yeah, it's propane. I don't want to do it down here right now, but I got to pee again. I opened up the floodgates, y'all. We, what time is it? 11.38. 11.38. We got a little bit of time, but we got to probably start getting our nonsense together to go, try to go outside and light some fireworks off. Right? Or... It's got to be hooked up. It's got to stay hooked up to the laptop the whole time. And we got to stay within Wi-Fi range. So, yeah, this might all turn out well, whack. That's why I said the backyard would be. I was going to but... say, I could just go out on the deck with those two things and you could go down uh on that patio thing and light them off I yeah i mean if you would prefer it to be done in the front yard we can definitely do it out on the street i don't i don't care i'm just saying don't start a fire with oh yeah here. no i don't want to do that eric this is a rad gift for sure uh, i'm excited to see what this runs like like Yeah, it's this is cool. Yeah, it's like an ammo can. Uh, but we'll definitely give this a whirl on the next, maybe on the next one. We'll see. But yeah, fire, fire can. <laughs> oh, you trying to you trying to blast? Oh, I I blew all mine up. You're I can't even, I can't even shoot back. <laughs> She's over here shooting at me. All right, um, we are going to. Try to light some fireworks off for 
we still have 20 minutes. We have 20 minutes. So we got 20 minutes to kind of get outside, but we also have Chipogne that we need to try to try to have a sip of Champagne. And this has like the wire thing on there. Um yeah, we'll we'll get outside. Oh, hit the like button if you're watching. Did you like it? You're watching on a different account. I may not watch all of them, but I like all of them. Can I like it myself? Mm, no. Cheers, y'all. Well... I appreciate everybody sending in stuff to the channel. I've got some hot sauces and things that we haven't gotten to yet uh, that we will eventually. And now we've got more stuff to get to, obviously. Uh, pretty stoked on, on that, dude. That's rad. Yeah, that is rad. I'm excited to see what that's like. I'm surprised that the... Uh, Surprised this doesn't fold over all the way back, to be honest with you. But it's still rad. But I am surprised that doesn't. Oh, remove lid completely before use. Oh, it just it just pops right off. I was like, that's just gonna be in the way. Uh, but it's the hinge isn't closed, so it just pulls right off of there. There we go. I kind of felt like a dick. I was like, this is kind of weird. That doesn't work right, you know? They figured it out. All right. All right. Yeah, that's rad, dude. That's rad. And, and 99, I, I think everywhere you're at, you can run them when there's still a fire ban. Because it's propane fire. Less than 20 minutes. We got to figure out how to get outside. All right. I got to move this whole computer setup outside. I've got to move fireworks outside. You got to move fireworks outside. Are you just going to take a drink of this without orange juice? Or you want orange juice? Do you want to get, you can get cups and orange juice. Cheers, y'all. 652 out there hit the like button all right we're gonna figure out how to get all this outside and uh she's giving me bombastic side eye I am not. a little bit lies lies no lies. a little bit all right oh that's not my camera this is my camera there's the tape on the ceiling that's holding up my little disco ball over there. So, we're not, are we? No, like, I would take one of the fountains out there and maybe, like, yeah, and we'll do a couple shells. Make sure there's a tube in there to shoot those shells off. It's still taped together. Are you sure it's in there? One of them might be open. I left a tube. This one's not. Left a, here, let me see it. I left a tube somewhere. I just want to make sure it's not going to. I don't want to get out there and not have a shooting tube. We're going to take some mega thunders outside so we can do some fireworks. And a brilliant shower. There we go. We've got a tube and then we've got one, one like a, one fountain thing that will run off. Uh, you can, yeah, you can take this outside. Like you can just set it up by the stairs. We got a cu couple minutes. Yeah. I'll, I'll figure out how to get it out there. They're going to see all of my nonsense out. Back, outside, out back. Do you want backyard or front yard? Whatever you want. Front yard's fine. Front yard's fine. We should, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm a little worried that we might like get too far that the, the internet doesn't work out there, but. In the 
So we, I, I might have to leave the camera. No, I think I'll leave this on the front porch and we'll just film out to the street and see if that works. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. Uh, we've got Champagne. I'm just going to stick that in my badass hoodie right here. And uh, let's see. We can get this out here. You guys want to see something in the basement you've never seen? All the nonsense that... Uh, Here's here's my aftermath of tonight. Boxes. There's some boxes from last time. There's bikes that we don't ever use because we're lazy. And most of this is camping gear. Yeah, ice fishing shack, big tent. It's a mess. Like, not proud of that one. And then... Where's the wife's nonsense? I made that desk. It's an old door. Some shelving. And uh, I think down there she's got the sewing machine out so we can make some curtains. She does some like quilting. So she's got a quilt here she's going to make. There's my little light that's like that one on there. She, she doesn't want to be on video. You can't see it. Probably can't see her. Yeah. And there's. The nonsense. Uh, and my crappy table. Happy New Year's. I use a plastic table with a sheet over it. Uh, all right. I can't stop this, is the thing. I'm so used to being able to just like turn the camera off and and being able to move it. Where's my hat at? All right. But I have to take my laptop with me and we will, uh, she's got the fireworks. Got a bear here. Unplug the laptop. Try not to like show you anything that I shouldn't show you. There's nothing that I, you can't see in my house, but there's definitely parts of my house that you haven't seen. We'll have to just leave this on there. The neighbors are going to love me. I should have just hit up the neighbor and told him to bring his kids outside. All right. Oh, I probably, probably need my... Probably need my uh, my. All right, the camera's right there, pointed this way. I was gonna say that little table that they sent you tonight. You can put the laptop on them. Well, I don't need. I just need my my uh. Who's it's what's it's here? Tripod. That's what I've been trying to say. Is it? Oh shit. 1148. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Probably showing you guys entirely too much. and all that nonsense. Huh? Yeah, I don't want to lose my cell signal. That's her, my, my, in. Well, we won't have to go that far outside. We shouldn't have to anyways. And, oof, don't want to drop my laptop and I have fiber. But we're going outside. 
There's other fireworks going off. I'll try to get you guys a camera angle. Hold on. This is probably about as far as I'm willing to go right here. The problem is going to be the fireworks are going to shoot up. The old, the old chip box right here. And uh, might have to have, just have the wife hold the camera while I'm lighting them. But... There we go. I'm going to... Fireworks going off down the street. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to run and grab my drink and maybe a stogie because degenerate for life. Bring a couple. All right, fireworks, drinks. Uh, dirty old stogie that I already lit. I can see my laptop down there. Live stream from the front yard. <laughs> do I still have the do? It's cold. I had to grab my coat. But people have definitely been lightning off fireworks. I don't even know what time it is. I don't have my phone. 11.52. 11.52. I can't see the chat, y'all. I can't see the chat right now. But cheers. We're going to light a dirty old stogie. Smoking's bad for you. Check this out. home decorations let it snow my wife painted that cheers waiting for uh waiting for the missus i guess we could we could start early with the fountain we don't have to just go at midnight 11.52, do you want to see a fountain? Do you guys want to see a fountain? We got a couple of those. I'm going to go light a fountain. You should be able to see the whole thing. Here, I'll... I think right there, you should be able to see all of it. All right, we're going to light this guy. I am wearing my slippers out here. Can't ever wear my slippers in the house again. I'm going to light this now. What time does your phone say? It's 11.53. We're going to, we're just going to get started. Boy, 
Should I turn this light off? Uh, that light ain't making it that much of a difference. At least we see the trucks and whatnot. Um, no, but you might want to hold this camera for when I do these because they're going to go up. Just remember, you only have that much cord, but there's a decent amount there. All right, we've got, we're just going to, we we got five minutes. Don't smoke, it's bad for you. We got five minutes. We got six artillery shells. So we're just going to light them all off because we are uh, just what's up. Somebody else is lighting fireworks off anyway. Watch out, Mike. Someone's coming. Well, that didn't really do much. are so loud. Sounds like a German. It's 11.57 Central Time. Eleven fifty eight. Eleven fifty eight. All right, we'll wait for the last one. One more, y'all. We got one left. You know how when you're waiting for a minute or two to pass? And it's just silent. Hey, you gotta tell me. You watching? Yep. One fifty nine. Nope. Now tell me when to light it. It's eleven fifty nine right now. Enough. Good enough. Let's do it. Happy New Year's, y'all. Thanks for watching all the videos. Appreciate everybody's support. I love you guys. Last one. neighbors enjoyed it uh 
Hopefully they all did. We've got a little champagne to drink. Let's let's head inside and we'll take a sip and we'll be done, y'all. We're just gonna leave that outside for now. Along with that dirty old stogie. You can stay out here for tonight. All right. My wife's carrying the camera. <laughs> We're not the only ones, yeah. We're not the only ones out here, yeah. All right. We can end it out right here. You can close the door if you'd like. Cheers, y'all. Here. You guys would probably not get to see That's me, how many years ago? 14? It'll be 14. 14 years ago. <coughs> all, the, all the misses you don't get to see. All right. Um, it's probably midnight by now. I can't even see the clock on this. Oh, sure. There's more fireworks going off outside. I don't know how to do this. But we'll have a little bit of champagne. Right. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. I love you guys. Let's get this out of here. Maybe. Make a mess. Might make a mess. At least we're on some tile over here. All right. <laughs> All right. The missus has gotten herself some orange juice. That's probably all she's good for right there. Sure. Cheers. I don't want it to be too strong for her. And we'll... Uh, We'll pour a little bit for you guys in our champagne glasses here. Cheers. Happy I hope that. Yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope everybody had an amazing 2023. I hope everybody has an amazing 2024. Uh, like I've said before, I love you guys and thanks to everybody for watching the channel. Like, I can't believe that everybody watches anyways. Um, and 2024 is going to be rad. Like, keep your head up. Look to the sky. Uh, no matter what you do, like, life is good. You can do better. You can you can be better. You can do anything you want in life. And uh, I, I think I'm proof of that because... What do you? I'm worried he's gonna fall down the stairs. No, I'm not gonna fall down the <laughs> stairs. Um, yeah. Sometimes I don't really know what to say in these moments, but I just want to say that life is what you make it. You can do anything you want. Live your dreams, and I would rather you never watch the channel again and live out an amazing life than to sit here and watch me do this and not do it yourself. You can do it. Cheers, y'all. Here's the 2024. And I think that's it. I think we'll go ahead and end her out there. Thanks to everybody for sending stuff in. Thanks to everybody for watching the videos. Hit the like button. Uh, 2024 is gonna be rad. And uh, stay tuned. Probably next video will be Thursday night. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year.